Yeah. Yeah, I think we're on to something. <laughs> I well, I wasn't at the steering wheel, so I'm going to throw you at the bus right away. I noticed that. I can feel you already just as soon as you're Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, uh, so... We're about it. This is uh, Pusha Studios. If you're new here, we don't do our openings very well, and uh, hey, we're all about husband and wife and sticking together through thick and thin, right? Yeah, it looks this way. I mean, what the hell is going on? We, we <laughs> hit the 50th episode, and everything went to hell in a handbasket. I kid you not. Geeks, are we cursed? Maybe we need <laughs> yeah. some cool cleansing. That's it. I think we're going to be doing that tonight. Yes, tonight's going to be cleansing. <laughs> so get yeah, ready yeah, and buckle yeah, your yeah. seatbelts because we don't drink much. Bottoms up, baby. <laughs> yeah. That's right. This is true. <laughs> yeah, we don't really uh, drink that much. Uh, it's not uh, in our even monthly schedule. <laughs> it's really Almost very never. rare. Rare, rare, rare. <coughs> but tonight is the night, so welcome, welcome. Yeah. Show your IDs. Win City Stevo is, uh, oh, it's called the guy that throws everybody out of the bar. The bouncer? The bouncer. So officially, Win City Stevo is a bouncer. <laughs> IDs at the door. I still saw his. Uh, I'm, I'm, I think I'm more worried about Steve sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, that's so, a good... uh, your IDs, please. And if you are not 18, well, uh, it's your own responsibility. That's right. And please drink responsibly. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, uh, it's going to be. Yeah, it, it, it's going to be a different stream oh. today. Uh, usually we uh, pour into the adult swim portion uh, long after we are done our usual live stream. Well, tonight I think we're going to start quite early. So if yeah. you were looking forward to that, uh, hey, that's your, your what prayers have been answered. If that's prayers what have been answered. We're taking a page out of Geek's book tonight. <laughs> yep. And if you're new to our stream, we are a husband and wife team making videos and photos at the same time, getting up close and personal with YouTube creators from all around the world. And every night from Monday to Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern, we are here on Live with Pusha with our special guests and awesome you in the chat. And without you, there wouldn't be any live stream anyway. That's right. <laughs> um, that is true. And that said, uh, and also, I want to say a side note. This is very important. Itching. No, no, I'm serious. <laughs> We've been going on about this, but in a serious note, I want to say this right off the bat. I don't want to also... Uh, play on this too much that we take away from our guests tonight they are a husband and wife they have children they are uh, great people and they just, they enjoy beer i don't want to make it sound like just because they're on that's why it's a drunk fest i, I do want to make sure that we sell a set them in a good light even if we're never in one so i just want to really no definitely i just i was talking about us and drinking no i know i know but i mean i don't want to make them guilty by association so i thought i'd throw that disclaimer out right away before we go too far so there we go so if your fingers yeah. are itching press that uh, like button and share it the more the merrier or uh, if you are too lazy uh go over to our twitter awful, and just awful, reshare our poster of this say. stream I just see this is going to be really working out so well. <laughs> the wife, the wife be... is getting carried away, folks. So this is our Twitter. Go over. She doesn't have any sure. liquor in her yet. Listen to her go. So this could be buckle your seatbelt. It's going to be a bumpy ride. It might be also an early uh, bedtime. <laughs> there we go. See, it's sitting in the fridge waiting to go. We went with a craft, a Quebec crafter collection. You know why? We don't drink enough to really choose, so it just seemed like a good way to go if they are craft beer. Well, so. see, Crab Beer Poor said not to worry, that we are ready to chat and drink a few. That's Get right. your IDs ready. So there you go. They were on the same wave as I was. So. I don't know what wave you're on. I'm still trying to figure out where you're going. Oh, there she goes. With, I got the certain body movements. You can tell what kind of mood Xenia is going to be. <laughs> Bottle Caps is going to love tonight if he's around. Yes, he is. And he's saying that I'm giving you a sting eye. Yes, that's right. Thank for, you, Bottle Caps. For a difference there. So. But, I don't, but it doesn't bother me. So I, I enjoy I thrive on <laughs> stink eye. So it's all good. Yeah. And you see stink eye, it means things are going well. You're having fun. That's what I always say. Um, there we go. Bouncer Arby here too. Well, thank you, thank you. Uh, so you're on the duty then too. Uh, <laughs> Trish T. That wifey is looking all spicy over there. <laughs> okay, <laughs> there you go. 
duck lips are. Yeah, essential. the duck lips are going. Yeah, we're getting all. <laughs> that's essential. Or maybe it's last year's fashion. It's gonna, I don't no, know no, that's called a European selfie. That's what that's called. <laughs> I don't think so. Rob I, I've seen that more into uh, North American feeds. Well, Rob ninety three, you get a monitor. <laughs> Jason Peck. By the way, there's lots of people you get a monitor. The cake here. Just say. I love it. That's couldn't be happier to have you all here. Oh, a good crowd. We're glad this Saturday night, and then but the great crowd in is always a pleasure. So yeah, even more so. Obi Scott Trailer Park is watching too. So. Oh, sir. Obby's Park Trailer Park. Oh yes, happening. yes. I just gave Obi. Uh, yeah. Obi the uh, the the mighty wrench and Rob the wrench. Oh no, Obi had sorry already. It was Rob I gave it to. Excuse me. And Jason, uh, Jason Pack. And Donnie, yeah. where are the sexy beasts? <laughs> so good to have all you guys in here. Are you guys ready? For us, you bet we are ready for you guys. Like I said, I, don't I know went if out. This Andrew is or not. What did I do now? <laughs> I don't know. She's on. Lots of disclaimers there. I don't know. Maybe she was sniffing glue or something. I don't know what's going on with her. I was working today. Yes, that's true. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. yes. <laughs> and I wasn't. So that's, that's why. <laughs> There's yeah. our answer right I there. was taking pictures at yeah. the event yeah. today. Oh, Neil's. Is it Neil calling out nipple or honestly? That's why we were late on the panic D videos today, uh, live stream today, because I was working. Then Andrew got to pick me up, so yep. Apologize for that. I'll have to. It was one of those it. crazy days. What are we doing behind the screen, uh, Fuji Studios? Working. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's very as fun. Exciting as you can guess. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. This time was outside of the house, so uh, <laughs> that's as fun as it gets here. Oh yes, yes. Now I know. Yeah, I remember the nipple now. Yes. So yes, definitely tonight is a nipple night. So yeah, and, all hail the nipple. Yeah, and yeah. we started bourbon drinking at Helos and Heathens live stream that uh, I was earlier on as well. Uh, that was a podcast about butts today, yes. fetishes and butts. So oh. if you're interested in butts. Um, we had a discussion about uh, but, boobs but, but, or butts. Like, but, are you a boob or a butt person? I don't know. Let me take a gander here. I, I'm kind of between the both. Of them, no, you're going to gonna pick one. I want a butt with a boob sticking out of it. <laughs> there you go. Kind of okay. a Star Trek kind That's of interesting. Thing. Well, Juliet yeah. said she would start a uniboob channel. So. Uniboob? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if you want to hear the, the conversation, <laughs> you're going to go to Kilo's uh, channel and check their latest live stream. Uh, that's what it was about. What is it with that thing lately? It's coming out of focus. Maybe we uh, got to come closer to it or something. Uh, yeah, I suppose. Uh, yeah, hey there, uh, geeks. Uh, I love faces, Uniboob Unite. Excellent. I like where you're going with this. <laughs> Yeah, Tony, uh, the, the silver guy there, he was saying that he likes personality better too. I said, I, I can see his nose growing and yeah. his ears burning as he's saying that. Because uh, no way you <laughs> see the personality first. So. That's right, Steve. Oh, I can't lie. I like butts with personality. That's what I like. Yeah. They all have them. They're like individual like snowflakes. No, and I mean, we all yeah. are about the personality and smile and blah, 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 blah. But get let's get real here yeah. you don't see personality the first seven seconds which is the first impression that you get about the person is in the first seven seconds you mm -hmm. don't see the personality so something gets your attention the question is either you know uh boobs or butts not the personality it's not there yet first time i met her she stuck her nipple in my eye that's right so it is a true story so yeah what she's saying is right <laughs> Living Life, Illinois, a great time for you to join. It's been Hi. A Welcome. Welcome. Tonight's going to have a little extra twist to it. So uh, it's Xenia's beer goggles are out of focus already. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know. I don't know what's going on there. Oh, it's, it's, my it's, God, it's, it's cursed. It's... Yeah, I got to bring this closer. Have I got the wrong channel? Yep. Today. <laughs> today. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. But today is a different live stream, Living Life, Illinois. It's a Bunny Road plus Brewery. and ID at the door. Coast to coast roads. Yes. I can. like that name. Bumpy Road Brewery. I'm here just working off a tablet because my phone is crapped out. This doesn't work so well. Well, we appreciate it that you can join us and to help you fix that problem. We're going to give you 
a wrench. There you go. So hopefully that will make your work a little easier and you can stay tuned with us. So Right so channel, wrong me. night. That's right. That's, he was, right. that's uh, right. Yeah. Well, yeah. unless you want to have a drink or something or coffee. Yeah. Let's promote alcohol. Guys, You got, if you got them, drink them. Yeah. Drink responsibly. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and if you're at home and nothing's going to happen, give it your all. Just don't die on this, please. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right, Obi. 21 plus. Now you see in Montreal, in Quebec here, it's 18 years old to drink. So that's why there's so many strip clubs and Americans that come up to drink yeah. into them. And you're guests yeah. in our stream, so we're going by the rules in Canada. Yep. <laughs> oh, anybody new? Because Ballcast just mentioned the same for us. Uh, we it's hard to check you guys out during the stream. Please try to go and like one of our. Uh, if you do subscribe to us, leave a quick comment so I can check you out when the stream is done. Oh, right. Panic D videos. You don't got them. E no. Oh. Quickly brew something. Yeah. Channel, <laughs> a, some channel a spirit to bring you some. Yes. Or channel a spirit to bring you over here with us and we can drink together. Uh, yeah. Costa goes, I read beer and hear nips. I'm like, did I forget to pay the cover again? Yeah. Now, I am going to be putting the disclaimer every so often just in case somebody's watching. Uh, so don't get too alarmed, but and yeah, Trish D, it's 18 in Quebec. I'm not sure it might be in Manitoba as well, but the rest of Canada's 19. Uh, I, I keep saying that for Manitoba, I gotta look it up and see. Uh, otherwise, the rest of <coughs> uh, only Quebec, but, oh, excuse me, all right? No, <laughs> I'm gonna be right back. Okay, so she'll be joining us back in a minute, and that's true. That's when we were younger and used to go to strip clubs, you always used to say. The American kids because they would come out. Thanks, hunt. I can't <laughs> see you. I know, I know, I don't know what's going on with it. I think the camera's even trying to raid us or something like that. Maybe we're gonna bring the light over more. Maybe that's why no, we're the shadow. shine like sun, sun stars, like well, this. Well, yeah, just a little bit more. Maybe that's yeah. why it's drawn for focus. So. Maybe. So there, yeah, yeah, that's right, Tristy. But eighteen is a big deal for them. <laughs> that I can guarantee you. Yes, craft beer. We're going to take care of her in a, in a minute. Don't worry. We're going to get you guys on. We don't want to start until you guys are on. Uh, I think I showed you guys already. Well, I'll bring the case back over. We'll look at it. I it's As far as I know, it's a collector's beers from different microbreweries in Quebec. I think there was an awards. Uh, they had a competition, and the winners got to be in this pack. It's only for a limited time, and it's different regions. Well, so it's for a limited time until you drink it out. There you go. There it's you very go. Very limited. There you go. Oh, no, not the glasses. Oh, I don't know. No, those are going to be more clear. The, the camera that we're using today. I like now. This is a channel name, Angela to be pecked. I like that. That's interesting. I'm even going to open your channel for a second. You got you piqued my curiosity. That's what a good channel name should be. Oh, you're just starting out. Uh, Angela was on Healers and Heathens uh, oh. stream. She's a mod there as well. Really? And, and as far as I understand, she's a Canadian. She's from St. John. St. John, New Brunswick or St. John, yes, Newfoundland? New Brunswick. New Brunswick. That's exactly oh. what we were talking about. <laughs> well, there you go. Well, she yeah. automatically gets moderator for that. So that, that was a that was a big ceremony now wasn't it so you need a german beer well i have been talking uh, uh to numerous uh, beer uh reviewer uh, channels and i was asking about looking for latvian beer and trying mm -hmm. to review that because i know i know that there are places in states where you can see it i uh, where you can buy it because oh, son, i, I have i have Just also have that. found uh, uh latvian beer in canada here so i that would be interesting uh, something exotic something different and this is true. Yeah. You know, I wish we could have brought at least two cans of beer from every country we've been to. You know, I would have been hard for the backpacking part and stuff like that. But that'd be cool to eventually be able to get back. And uh, any beer you want to show? Uh, well, uh, Zalta and Pil Alders, yeah. Pilsen. This one? Uh, well, there are different kinds there. Uh, okay. Hold on a second. Do you image? Image. Picture, but we'll yeah, those are different breweries, actually. God's yeah. sake, I, I don't know. know. That's certain, you know, while you share night. it, I will have to clean up. I think there, so there's some uh, Latvian beer, these are some of the ones that we have, and it's very weird over there because, of course, outside of North America, most places never put 
<coughs> I have like big cases of beer, so mm. I don't know if this is contagious or what's going on tonight. Uh, no, I think it's uh, <coughs> stuff that is. Uh, <coughs> I think it's the, we're getting allergies. allergies yeah. yeah, allergy. Yeah, lots of the beers actually are live beers. They're not uh, a fully uh, filtered uh, that you can buy. Um, you can see it from the lighter one to a more harder one. The last one is porter. Is that how it's called in English? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, lots of them are live in bottles as well. And for those of you who live in North America, you can buy by bottle yes so when you leave the grocery store you look like a bloody alcoholic going out with a shopping cart with yeah. 20 some bottles beating into each other you can also buy them in plastic bottles yes <laughs> and uh, there are also lots of microbreweries where you can actually buy live beer in your own jar so to say you bring your own uh, jar or dish and they pour you <laughs> this is so uh, crazy i yeah. we did that at the uh, uh by outside of push at a medieval festival and there was a couple selling beer they had you know the tree that comes down in like a like a pine tree came down in a v and they had this keg wedged into it and it is legal to sell in up to a certain quantity and they couldn't speak a word of english and uh, ended up buying beer from them they had them all these plastic jugs like from soda bottles all the way to big water bottles and uh yeah they just fill it to go and they have them rinsed out hopefully decently well and they just pour it in away you go and the stuff looks like kind of like three-quarter porridge almost like it's a, well yeah, yeah it's not filtered so you can't see through it yeah. it's, it's uh that's the thing but lots of people like my grandfather uh made it at home himself uh i've been almost any farm so to say they make themselves well, for for the weddings it's always well it cost beer. me six euros for five liters of beer yeah that's exactly what it cost so it was like a steal and you drink it semi-warm and then jump into a hot sauna and guaranteed migraine times 110 by next morning or well that's the back. way to test the foreigner yeah 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 exactly <laughs> well <laughs> but yeah a live beer i uh, i i don't it's just a different taste to it altogether i don't like dark beers uh for example or rather have very light but if it's if it's live beer then it's uh, it's a different story it's completely different taste to it and i'm sure uh our guests tonight are going to be able to talk yes. about that uh, a bit more as well most definitely most definitely so i guess we're about ready uh you guys are in the chat so i'm going to send you over you i want to set you up here i'm going to put in the put in your email that you sent me and uh, the link should be over pretty soon and I'm so glad, once again, guys, we've been asking to have them on. We've been trying to work a time out, but they were very good. They uh, kind of bailed us out. Uh, we had a cancellation. That does happen. Yeah, it's Memorial Day weekend in States for those of you guys who are in Europe. Uh, just uh, Or Canada. Yeah, we had uh, we had uh, our long holiday last weekend. I think there was a bank holiday in UK last weekend as well. Yeah. Uh, so uh, this weekend, States are having their long weekend. Oh my god, I almost forget how to run this program, I swear to god. There we go. Invite. Club and Epic, welcome back. Hey, how are you? Well, today we are going to have the adult swim portion. That's so right. the very ending of yesterday's stream that we had, uh, that's going to be today. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, for those of you who haven't seen yesterday, yesterday we had Mr. Rob Hoffman on. It was a very interesting heart-to-heart -heart, uh, conversation. Uh, some serious notes were touched but at the end it went into an adult swim uh, even from That's classic true. values rob hoffman this is true. <laughs> was quite funny so if, if you enjoy uh piano music if you are about to build a home uh, go over and check that out oh sorry uh, are we trying to get a strike or no. what because <laughs> if we do then you're not going to be able to see us for three months, so <laughs> we'll get a vacation. <laughs> no, we're not going to have a strike. <laughs> you're not going to have a strike. I will not have a strike on our watch. <laughs> our theme for tonight okay yeah uh, how, how much was it there six seconds or something yeah uh, <laughs> <laughs> um panic d thank you yeah. we were watching you on tv today too yeah uh and donnie's a good boy when he's intoxicated so. yeah i can believe that 100 percent gosh one city i can't i can't it's hard it's hard <laughs> to read everything you know but uh 
I'm trying to. I see all of it. I just can't read it aloud. And by the way, if you, any of you guys are having a drink today, uh, just uh, write on. We'd like to know what are you having tonight? What are you sharing on our party? Let's do a roll call. Yeah, exactly. Penny, play it backwards and see what they're saying. <laughs> no strike that way. <laughs> I think it tells you to go back to school and uh, be good to your grandmother or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, let's let's do a quick roll call. Yep. Um, so, hello, hello, Angela to be packed. Uh, welcome to our channel, which today is uh, going to be a little bit tiny different, but usually we have more serious conversations, and usually we don't drink. Uh, beauty, <laughs> beauty and the bear. Hello, bottle cap, of course. Bumpy Road Brewery. Hello, hello. Coast to Coast Drones. Uh, welcome back, Donnie Shaw, our guest from last week. Uh, Flub and Epic. Welcome back, Geeks. Uh, our perfect crazy girls. Helos and Heathens. Calvin Climber. Uh, Living Life to Linoya. Panic DVDs. Philip Cochran. What are you cooking tonight? Philip. Rob ninety three. Uh, Kilos and Heathens, Trish D, Win City Stevo, Doll Whip Dad, hello, hello back, and um, so good to have all you guys here. A couple of people behind the scenes. Uh, if you are not too shy, just say hello. Uh, and if you can, that's okay too. I hope I didn't uh, miss anybody. Trish D, um, if I do, I apologize. Uh, Craft Beer Pours, did you guys uh, get the invite? Yeah, it's just a second time here for you, uh, but uh, welcome back. Exactly. We appreciate, we remember you coming in. So right. appreciate today is going to be an 18 plus uh, uh, yeah. version. Uh, we're going to have an amazing guest uh, from Craft Beer Pours. Uh, they're so amazing. They have their own live streams that are very fun and engaging. And tonight they're going to be on our live stream. Also tonight we decided to have a relaxed Saturday. Can you join yeah. Hey. Oh, hey. Hello. Hi. Welcome. Hi. Thanks for having us. Oh, the, you guys bailed us out today. We can't thank you enough. So. <laughs> yeah, Brandon's like when he said, "What are you guys doing tonight?" He's like, "I had a feeling." <laughs> <laughs> uh, we're just going to pause our other stream here for a second. Yeah, make sure we're not echoing or nothing. No. Problem. I don't think we sound okay. Sounds great to yep. us. I think you just have to watch the chat on your phone. Yeah, we'll just have to watch the chat on our phones. Yep, yep exactly. Yeah, just pause your video for there. Oh, well, you guys have done this a ton of times. Look what I'm talking about. You guys are old hands at yes. uh, doing this now. So, so. Uh, well, I have it both. I don't know how to break it out. The problem is we have it on like the same tab, so we can't like break it apart. But it's let me let me try a new let me try a new tab. If, if yep. the chat is hard, Xenia will take care of more of the chat for you guys if it's hard to see, and then that way you guys just gotta look at the hangouts if yeah. that's easier. Yeah, and for also you. you can just pop out the uh, the chat uh, to the different tab. There are three uh, dots on the right side on top by the live chat line, and you just press that oh. of the chat. Perfect. I'm yeah. trying that right yeah. now. There you go. Let's see. We've never done this one, this this style before. Well, we're, we're honored that you guys let us be the first ones to do it with you. So thank you. All right, Let's see. See. there we All go. Right. All right, are we frozen? Um, oh, you're looking great. Everything's good. <laughs> All right, we're good to go. Very good. There we go. Hello, everybody. All right, we got it. We got the pop out. We got that. Okay. Are we lagged or anything? Are we okay? Are we you're okay? Good. You're yep. good. You're golden. You guys got it. So it's perfect. And you guys are already got a beer going. We'll have to get ours going soon too. Yeah, yeah. We're still on coffee here. Uh, you this. inspired us. See, I went and bought a case today just to have you guys on. So <laughs> pretty awesome. I wasn't gonna have coffee. So when you guys are drinking beer, so <laughs> it's time to up our ante. <laughs> yep, that's right. Yeah, this is we uh we cracked our first beer for you guys. Well, I'm so <laughs> beer today no we didn't um, yeah, know, you guys were at the beach today you guys were <laughs> living it up when i first talked yeah, to you that we, was an amazing we life we were we were drinking at the beach today 
Okay. Uh, but believe it or not, we drink as much coffee as we do beer. We do. I, I believe that. I believe that's what I was telling we everybody a while ago. <laughs> but you guys do know a lot about it, and I mean, you do have a passion for it, so. Yeah. And you said that one time a couple of weeks ago. Actually, I remember that in the live stream, and it stuck with me. You know, you said uh, sometimes with the crap with these beer channels, some people think that's all you do all day. And you said it's just because we have a passion for it doesn't mean we live our lives around it every second. And I thought that was really good to say. I, I, I kind of took that message away from that. So uh, do you guys get accused of that sometimes? Like some people thinking that you, that's all you do type of thing? Yeah, we do. So, so here's the thing. Sometimes I'll post a video at 9 or 10 o'clock in the morning because I have it scheduled to post right. at that time. And then I'll start getting comments like, oh, beer for breakfast. <laughs> Champions. Do you drink a beer that a day? Ki that kind of stuff. And I'm like, wow. So then I have to go in and, and comment on all of those and say, you know, this was from last weekend. I just, I'm uploading it now. Yeah. Because the thing is, if, if I have three craft beers that I've never had before on a Friday, and then on a Saturday have three more, that's six videos for me. That's six yeah days of content that's true that doesn't mean i'm drinking every day or he just posts a video yeah. a day yeah. and i, I <laughs> spread them out yeah. yeah so yeah yeah it does happen but i live a very uh, i have a great job i live a fit lifestyle we eat healthy we do all that stuff we have two great kids we have baseball and all, all this stuff we don't just sit around and drink beer all day so but when we do, we have a good time. Yeah, like that's, that's okay. That's the whole point of it. You know, <laughs> when we have a good time, we have a good time, and there's nothing wrong with that. Work hard, so, play hard, right? Yeah, exactly. Well, look at you guys. I mean, you don't exactly look like somebody who's like sitting around. Like, uh, I mean, you are a good. Team. You're healthy. You're not like sitting there pale as a ghost, like you haven't seen light in two months or anything. Right. So it's exactly. hard to believe that all you do is drink. That's exactly. another comment he gets all the time: is that uh, why aren't you fat? Yeah, I get why that a lot. Why aren't you fatter? I do. I do I'm get like, that a lot. Like, who comments that? Why, why aren't you? Why aren't you overweight? Why aren't you fat? And and my <laughs> response is just real simple. It's just because I try to live a healthy lifestyle. Craft beer can be infused in a healthy lifestyle. I try to stay within the USDA guidelines, if you will. Sometimes it goes a little more. Sometimes a little a little less. But at the end of the day, I'm always rating right those guidelines. And that's it. You know, I don't, I, I enjoy craft beer. I, I drink craft beer actually very slowly. Right. I sit on it. I enjoy it. I like the flavors. I like supporting the small craft beer community. The, they have a lot of these craft beer communities have artists that work on their can art. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's a, it's a lot of businesses and it helps out as a small business community. And I, and I really enjoy that aspect of it as well. Right. Because, I mean, you don't hear many people that are into craft beers, like they don't sit down and pound away 25 of them. It's not like it's a case of Coors Light. You no. know, that's, that usually no. people who tend to drink a lot tend to go more into that route or chugging them. What's the point to spend $3 more? I'm just picking a number out of my head. $3 more for that ball of beer so you can sit there and chug it in six seconds. It's kind of pointless. Exactly. He'll exactly. Repeat, like, we, like we pay 3 to $4 a beer for craft beer. Yeah. So he's like, I'm not gonna. Yeah, we usually get the six. Drink cans. this in one sip. Yeah, for four dollars. Uh, well, yeah, they the money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, beer at that point is more like I mean, like uh, I heard that term a lot in England was it's more like food than drink. You know, yeah. it because you're savoring it. It's got more body to it. It's it's more palatable. So that's the whole. To me, it's an artist. It's as much a, an art to drink it as it is. To have it made at that point what you guys are doing yeah that's i think that's a perfect way to describe it like a lot of work goes into like the can art the beer itself um like we've gotten some really cool cans that are like artistic some really really cool cans but you can't keep them all but um there's no. a lot of talent that goes into it all around yep Dear God, don't ever make a video with the cans you have left over. They're going to want to put you in AA or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> you're going to be answering comments for a month. Not that it's right, but if they're that bad already. We'll pull them up at the end of our stream. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. 
people used to collect cans. Like we had the top of the cupboards was different, like pop cans and beer cans. Yeah. Once they started to appear, you know. The old little like, beer, the bell bottles used yeah, to call them yeah. and stuff like that. The little stubbies. Yeah. And I miss those oh. days. So are you guys going to crack one? Yeah, yeah, I think it's time. I'll be back. I think it's time. <laughs> I think it's time. And I, I don't know where your sunglasses stay, but what do they say? Do they That's say something? Monday. See, uh, I'm I'm on tomorrow's schedule because tomorrow. Oh, oh, Sunny. <laughs> Sunny. <Sorry. laughs> Love it. Very cool. Very, um, very, very cool. <clears throat> So for those uh, who don't, sorry, who don't know your channel, we a little bit talked about already about beer and what you guys do. But what is it really about? What do what your videos are about? For those of uh, the guys that haven't seen any of them yet, you can take that. It's technically you. Yeah. yeah, sure. So basically, um, most of my videos are just showcasing. Um, a craft beer, I taste it. I try to be different than the craft beer reviewers out there because there's some really good craft beer reviewers out there that are Cicerone certified. They're experts in the, in the matter. I'm not, and I don't pretend to be. So what I do is I show you the can, I show you the can art. I tell you what it is, I tell you where it's from, and then I phase into me showing me pouring craft beer pours the beer um i show you what it looks like i show you the can art i sip it i smell it i taste it while music is playing i don't talk during that phase because personally i feel uncomfortable doing that because i'm not an expert and then i phase into the beer next to the can and that is so people can see the color and the can itself, and I'm, I'm just trying to promote the um, the brewery and the beer itself. And then I just give my brief opinion on it, and I just say, hey, this is the hops um, I felt on this one. This is how fruity I thought it was, or I thought it was good, I thought it sucked, whatever. And then I say cheers, and it's, my videos are, are literally two minutes quick, but... How I set myself apart a little bit, I do think, is I vlog a little bit. Mm -hmm. Trish and I, we do go live, mm. um, and we enjoy going live because we get a lot of supporters that join us, and we just chit-chat. We have a drink sometimes, and we really get to know our, our uh, supporters, and we support a lot of people out there as well. And it's really, really enjoyable. We met a lot of great people on YouTube doing that, just going live and talking to people. And um, that's probably like Trish D. She she loves going live. I think because I'm not, um, I'm a mom full time. Yeah. Like I don't have a lot of time to like make friends and conversate outside of like my normal life. So it's just nice to see like what you have in common with other people all around the world, really. Yeah. Can I stop you for one second? Wait a sure. minute. I wasn't sure. You are Trish D? She's Trish D. Oh, yeah, D. I am. Yeah. She's Trish D. <laughs> that is me. I wasn't 100% sure. And I, <laughs> you never want to ask because you don't want to put anybody in the spot. And I, if I ask, guaranteed it won't be. So, yeah. That's, that is oh, yeah. That's me. Trish yeah. I, I started out with a channel with zero subs and uh, I would follow, I would follow hubby. And then, um, yeah. And now my channel is like for no content. I have a lot of supporters. So. Yeah. Well, speaking of that, my sister Jody B is here, and uh, she does a lot of drinking for the five foot and under crowd. So good to have her here. She'll fit right in. She's more of a wine girl. Yeah, <laughs> she's more of a booze hound, I would call her. But yeah, so another, another part of my channel is um, you know little vlogs. I posted some of our adventures in Boston for those that haven't seen Boston before because we live right near Boston. I posted a hiking video of us hiking and we had a brew on the top of the mountain. You know, it isn't just sitting around drinking craft beer. I kind of want to incorporate a little bit of our adventures of our life as well. 
into my videos, into my channel, let people into our lives that, you know. A little bit, not too much. Yeah, I mean, a little bit. I mean, we have a lot, ton of other stuff going on, but, you know, when we have these little adventures, um, you know, we, we like to showcase that. I don't just do beer tastings and that's it. Mm -hmm. I incorporate a little bit of everything and I, and I want people to see that. And I think people really like that. I, I do know when I, when I post different videos, I posted a challenge where uh, Jada Diva, who is also a beer reviewer, um, he challenged me to, to try something different because, you know, everybody on my channel knows I love IPAs because that's, you know, yeah, um, everything I do is IPAs. It's, it's totally ridiculous. I know. But he was like, hey, I challenge you to do this. And I did it. And, and it got huge views and results. And people were like, oh, this is great. You're going out of your comfort zone and stuff. So, you know, it's, it's stuff like that that I, I really enjoy. And it's, it's, just, it's just having YouTube and all this is just having fun. Excellent. And that's, yes. the best way to look at it. that's why I like what you guys do. And I've heard you say that before. And I think we're kind of on the same page about that one. We've always said, you know, we're not getting rich. We're not making money on it. It's not our day to day job. This is supposed to be a fun thing. Right. Exactly. You know what? For us, it's more of like, I guess you could call it like when we do live stream, it's, it's like a date night in. You know yeah. what I mean? Like yes. you don't have to pay a babysitter. You still get to talk to new people. Like, I don't know. That's, that's how I, that's how I view it. Like I get to go with you guys right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's a a date. Date. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. Here you go, guys. Here's what we got for tonight. Oh yeah. yeah let's see that. This is a, sel a selection of beers from Quebec that was used. There was a contest. That's and of course, it's from Quebec. Wow. Eight, eight, nine, nine. nine. Quebec those, are some, uh, those are some beers. Those are some big boys. And then turn from the side here so that you can see the name. Uh, or actually, I'll read them because it's just easier, and then we'll move on to drinking them. Le Fin de Monde, is, there's two of each. That's um, 9%, and that means the end of the world. Uh, number two of Maudit, and Maudit is basically like saying Christ in French, like oh, in the wow. swearing version of it. Yeah. Uh, Dans de Dieu, like to the dead. And then trois pistoles is three, uh, three, uh, three guns. Blanche de Chambly, of course, the white, uh, the town in France, and Lune de Miel, which is honey, honey moon, and that's eight percent on that one. Most of them are like nine. They're like pretty high. Yeah, yeah. Nine. yeah those, those are some pretty big beers, guys. You they have the strengths here. It says even as the temperatures is recommended. The Fahrenheit. Oh. Most of them are fifty-four. <laughs> uh, <laughs> green screen. <laughs> oh, don't, don't did you guys not see the opening we had tonight? Don't feel bad. And we Come went on, on who's live was it everything a guy called what is it? Everything's great or everything's perfect or something. Yeah, today. And he was reviewing channels and he showed our channel and he showed the one last night where Xenia's eating the banana where we thought the music was playing and nobody could see us. And Xenia's got a banana half in her mouth and I'm laughing. And I'm like, <laughs> like out of all the times and he's showing like a shout out video on us and that's exactly what he's showing me eating banana not knowing that they filmed. Like, seriously. They didn't get the <clears throat> damn banana of all things. Oh, we're all about being professional. Oh, folks. yeah, especially <laughs> lately, we are really uh, <laughs> upping the mark there. Well, let's start with uh, the Fin de Monde. There we go. So, that's yeah. what we're going to do for us. Uh, Here's the beer. Uh, what are we doing? The same? I thought we could do like different kinds, no? Yeah, but there's two of each. Oh. You're going to drink them to go to the next one there. Slow down oh, there, my Chucky. goodness. No. <laughs> Gosh. I'm not used to this. No. Uh, Five bucks says I need an opener for these. I'm thinking right now because most Quebec beers they don't do twist. Use your oh, teeth. wow. Question: Can you open you uh, a bottle with teeth? Can you? Can we? No. Yeah. <laughs> That's a I don't want to try. I'd be afraid. <laughs> <laughs> I'd, be, I'd be way too afraid. I've I've I'm... seen people that can do it, but I would be too afraid. Can you? I... Uh, no, but I have seen some people opening, uh, <laughs> opening their eyeball, like uh, with the eye, 
Oh yeah, the put in the socket. Well, I don't know how people do that. They do it's it, crazy. yeah, the upper part of their socket, and then they end up in the emergency. Yeah, room. why would you want to attempt to damage yourself like that? Yes. Okay, let me uh, let me uh, look at them. <laughs> we have you guys on our big screen, so we can see what you're pouring here. Oh, there we go. Let's see that. Let's see that epic pour you got going on. This is an awful pour. There's more ahead than beer. I just realized now because she handed it to me at the last second when I thought she was pouring hers. So well, the, why would I pour yeah. mine? No, seriously. <laughs> awful. I did a bad job. Thank you. <laughs> I'm in front of beer experts tonight. You don't think I'm nervous? I got stage fright. I got performance. That's, that's no, the we're, opposite. We're not experts. We're definitely not experts. We're, we're, amateurs. Not experts. we're, we're amateurs. just We're just connoisseurs. So triple A la Fendum. So what what kind of beer is that? Is I it think a, she likes the light ones. It, yeah. It's a what nice style is it exactly? Ale. Yeah, nine percent triple ale. Extra strong. Triple ale? Yeah, yeah. it's kind of like a triple process or something. I'm not really sure. It reminds me of like a champagne bottle. Yeah, like that's that's an interesting top to that for sure. Yeah. That's a very yeah. interesting with the foil on top. It cost about maybe I don't know. I'm trying to convert into U.S. dollars. I guess twelve bucks for everything. Uh, Unibrew. Yeah. <laughs> brewery. I don't know. Unibrew Brewery. It's it's like I say. I think they had some sort of collection between some yeah. of the microbreweries in Quebec, and these were the winners. And then it's like a limited. Right. Time. If you live in Quebec, you can. Yes. Yeah. That's a, and that's a nine percent. Yep. Yeah, that's a nine percent. Which I don't know All why right. we're starting well, with one. Yeah. <laughs> he he's just going right at the. Uh, I right like the, what does it of, taste like? Kind of like a, mm, mm, yeah, you smell it. What do you think? It's kind of got a, like a bit of a, not a honey, but a. It's everybody in the chat's talking about head. <laughs> I figured that was starting off. I knew right away where <laughs> I was putting that channel go. <laughs> it's quite a strong, like the, like it, it, it shoots Aroma. in the nose. Yeah, yeah, in the nose right away. Is but, it like boozy, boozy smelling? No, 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 not at all. No. It really tastes artisan, and that fact that it tastes like a a recipe beer, and it it doesn't. There's no chemical feel to it whatsoever. It smells a little bit sweet. I I could even say. Yeah. I just had this beer the other day that came out, and when you pop the top, it legit smelled like dank marijuana. It's oh. brewed with um. Yeah. It's brewed with hemp seeds. Okay. And yeah. it literally leaves the aftertaste of just smoking a joint. Yeah. It is mind blowing. Like, it I was... can't even get over. They hit it head on. Like, if that's what they wanted to brew, it is cr crazy. It's called, yeah, it was... it's called Hemperer. I went live because I was so, like, pumped up to tell everybody. It was just crazy. Oh, Bob. Um, Exactly, was wondering about that if you could combine weed with beer. So there you go. There you go, bunk up. But does it have any effect of it too, combined in it, or just the taste? Uh, no. It's... So it's brewed with hemp seed mm -hmm. because regulations won't allow them to brew it originally how they wanted to. And I guess you can get it everywhere but Kansas because Kansas hemp is illegal. Oh, okay. Um, but there is no traceable amounts of. Yeah. What yeah. is it? You would never TV, test TBH there's, or there's, whatever. Yeah, there, um, there's no THC in it, but it's it's the flavor. Yeah. Me personally, it smelled like marijuana. <laughs> like, like a dormitory. Yeah. In 18 plus here. Like I popped it in our kitchen and it was like but, but the being, aroma. Yeah, it oh did. my god. <laughs> yeah, really, it's and I, I poured it in a glass, and when I did that. It smelled up our kitchen to the point that our children said, is there a skunk nearby? <laughs> oh, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, did a skunk yeah. die? And I was like, was wow. Cool. And I think Rob93 in the chat tried it. He yeah. went out and got it. So, oh my God. Uh, like the taste of it, I, I personally just thought it, it wasn't nothing great to me. Right. But if you're in the 420 community or whatever, yeah. You might think it's oh, great. Oh yeah, Rob's drinking it right now. Rob, Rob right? is drinking it right now, which is awesome. Oh my god! It the smell was phenomenal. It was unbelievable how they could actually. I mean, these craft brewers got that that smell and that recipe to smell like that is unbelievable. I mean, it, I think even the taste too though was pretty oh, yeah. spot on. It was. I, I felt like I, I guess it was like two years in the making because there was 
so many regulations yeah. um, to get through and stuff like that, but it was just finally released. And uh, mm. it's definitely a, a beer for everybody out there in the chat to try if that's, you know, in your interest zone. Well, guys, you guys are from Boston and Boston and Montreal, well, around the Boston area, sorry, I should say. And Boston's yeah. a very sim probably the most similar city to Montreal in layout in the U.S. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And cities yeah. and population around. And there's always been a great rivalry between the Boston Bruins and Montreal Canadiens, where I always go for Boston, so because I like arguments. So that's why I'm always <laughs> say, I go for Boston and I go for Toronto just to piss everybody off here. Everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so, but I want to first of all start off by thanking you guys for coming tonight, and I want to give you guys a big cheers. Thank you so much for being here. Cheers to you cheers both. Cheers to you and to everybody yeah. in the chat too. Ciao. We really enjoy you guys, and uh, I know we've been trying to connect for a while. We really have. That's on yeah. us. We were there. Yeah, and well, you know, <laughs> life is busy and stuff, and so it just sometimes things just work out, and it's yeah. When you, when we were at the beach and we we're just chilling there, going live, having a beer, and you're like, "What are you guys doing tonight?" I said to Trish, "I bet you want us on tonight." And she, and He's then, trying to hold the phone like. What if he asks? I, yeah. I, I seen him doing it. You can hear the whisper. I couldn't hear it exactly what he was saying, but I figured that's what he was saying. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it works out. You know, it, yeah. Yeah. Per, to be honest with you, it's a perfect night for it. Um, looks like you got a pretty good crowd. Well, you guys, thank you for that. Yeah. I mean, you know, so. Yeah. yeah, there are a lot of our. Uh, yeah, our we got we got some we here. got some we got some of our people in here. We got Bumpy, we got Scotty, we got Drunk Turtle, we got Rob, we got Drunken One. I love. We got, it. Yeah, we got a lot of people up in here that are uh, great, great supporters of us. Bottle caps <laughs> join us. I think that's what yeah. we both have with our channels is because we kind of have the same philosophy. I think we have good supporters on each side. And I've noticed that, like, you know, even going to your live stream, we've had some come over to visit yeah. us and they keep, like Obi and all those guys keep coming back. And the same with us to you guys. Is, yeah. Yeah. That yeah. cream of the crop once again, yeah. not the ones that are hounding everybody and being a pain in the uh, people that actually yeah. just want to be here and hang out. Yeah. You exactly. yeah. We have a drummer who just joined. He's also a great supporter of oh, us. Oh, he just Ahmad, joined. Uh, drummer Ahmad. There you go, sir. Well, oh, cheers. Cheers to everybody in the chat, and I'm gonna I'm gonna grab a beer if you guys don't mind, which is I I've never I've never I've never had it before, but I like the name of the beer, and I thought it was appropriate to crack it open on your live stream. Oh, this is the one I picked. Up. So I'm gonna grab it. I need the I need the opener for this one. Oh, <laughs> that's so cool! <laughs> I love it. I've never had it before, and I'm not gonna review it. I'm just gonna. Or taste it, but I'm gonna I'm gonna have it right now. So I'm, let me go grab that. Uh, cheers, drummer! Thanks for Thank following us over here. You know what I like? I like another husband and wife. Um, I think that's what attracts me to you guys. Uh, and, and you guys too. I love. We really do well with these couples. Yes. <laughs> ones. I think they work the best because there's four people keeping the conference, and it is kind of like date night because you're the same as us. We got two kids at home. Yeah. We got an yeah. older one that's on his own. And we don't get to go in all the time, so it is kind of like a date night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, like tomorrow, we have to pay a babysitter to go to the Red Sox game, and it's like <sighs> paying a babysitter. It hurts. <laughs> it always. Yeah, hurts. It hurts the bank. It really does. Yeah. <laughs> I got to be careful because my sister's here, and I get her to babysit sometimes, so I don't want her asking yeah. for money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, we don't. We're uh, we're in New England, and we our family is about five hours away. Yeah. Wow. yeah. The chat is uh the chat is very lively and very happy. So everybody in the chat, awesome. So I'm going to show you guys this one. It's pretty cool. I'm just gonna say, are you ready for it? Here we go. Yours. Here we go. This is just for this stream. Just for this stream. This beer is called hashtag hashtag adulting. Oh, oh my, my god. god. Right? How cool is that, guys? It is. Oh, that is so cool. <laughs> How cool is that beer name, guys? Hashtag adulting is the name of this IPA. Oh my goodness. I love it. Where did you get it? Right? I picked it up just because of the uh, yeah. name. It's by oh, Evil Genius Beer Company out of Philadelphia. That's and it's uh, 
a guava IPA with Citra, Cascade, and Warrior Hops. Holy um, What's guava? I think it's a fruit, right? Yeah. Guava is a fruit, oh, is a it? type of fruit. Yeah. It's interesting, uh, a blend for not for for a beer, let alone. Yeah. So I have no idea, guys. Never never had this before in my life, but I yeah. thought That's when so cool. you got me this. And then you guys said, let's do it. I was like, this is, I got to crack this on this, on these guys. I mean, come on now. Could be more fitting if you yes. tried. Like, that's perfect for tonight. Right? That is that is, cool or what? I love that's it. That's really cool. Thank I you love for, that. Thank you for doing that, too. Yes. I mean, we really do appreciate you thinking yeah, about it. He came Cheers. home and he's like, you know what beer I'm going to crack tonight? Adulting. And I'm like, I'm, I'm like, glad no. I picked that up. Hashtag adulting. That I mean, that's got to be just perfect for yeah. tonight. So they need to be on this show tonight. <laughs> um, destiny. Let me see. What's the ABV on this? This is. Let's see. Gator the legend. Thanks for supporting him. Oh yeah, he's a he's a he does these uh, reviews on channels and everything. He's kind of like the uh, the news uh, guy for the inner for the uh, for YouTube. I guess the best way to put it. Yep. So. Well, he has uh, two channels, I think. One of them is his own. Yeah. Uh, and then there's a news channel as well. So. Adulting. Oh, yeah. So yeah. this I, I is uh, out, uh, hashtag adulting, hashtag blue wrench is tweeted out. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's so, adulting. so this is a 7%er, I believe. So good good amount i mean not quite it not quite at your guys is nine percent but oh, i don't know i don't know if that was such a good idea or not for us we'll see later uh, <laughs> i had a question for you uh since uh, you're an expert uh on the back of the um bottle there are two different numbers and maybe you know what they mean one is uh, says srm 5.5 and the other one says ibu 19. do you know what they mean so well, SRM. No, what the IBU is. The IBU is the bitterness count on it, and the higher, the more bitter the beer is. Is that that's what that means? And what number does that usually go up to? Like, what's the max? Um, if it's above a hundred, it's very, very, very bitter. Okay. Ooh. So if you get a beer that's like 50, 60, it's it's pretty it's pretty bitter. And then you know if you get your um. Your darker beers, things like that, they're going to be on the lower end of that. But yours is nine percent alcohol, so I'm wondering, um, SRM five point five. That could be the French um, trip. The whole bottle's French too. Could that could be like? The yeah, French. I'm wondering if that's ABV. Could five point five percent, but the nine percent you had on the front of it. Yeah. It, your I think it was your alcohol by volume, so I'm not sure what the SRM is. Yeah. Unless the, is is this a French French beer? Yeah, yeah, it's made in Quebec. Yeah, yeah, Unibrew. Um, so it might be the French abbreviation because usually things in Canada the have different method. Is the color system used by brewers to specify finished beer and malt color? Oh, so that's the color. Just G just looked it up real quick. Thank you, Google. Thank you, Google. Oh. So that's that's the color on your beer. I like that very much. So the IBU, the IBU is the bitterness. So what, what was the bitterness on that, by the way? 19. Oh, so that's low, low bitter. So yeah. that's a darker, sweeter beer. I would say it is, though. Uh, it, it is bitter more than sweet, to mm. my taste. Yeah, it's like it's not that. very yeah. bitter, but it has that first taste of like... <laughs> but we're going to let him try his now, because I'm waiting to hear what he thinks of it. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> He's a uh, slamming that like a cup of coffee over there. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's got the sunglasses. So. Oh, Bumpy yeah. Road SRM is a light yeah. color. Oh, SRM light color. Might be crazy. I'm on the Sunday mode today. <laughs> so if we if we do need any experts tonight, we do have um, Bumpy who's in the chat. We also have well, we did have Drunken One. Those guys are home brewers. They're real experts. I'm not an expert. I'm just a connoisseur. Uh, Bumpy Road, so, we actually met in real life last yep. Friday. Oh, cool. Good. Yeah. I love that. Yeah, we had, we had a great time. All so right, let's, except you're adulting. So here's what the uh, adulting color looks like. Wow. Really? There. It's not yeah. as dark as a lot of the beers I have, but it's... Um, Reddish. Yeah. Smells so, good. Smells great. Uh -huh. Got like a Rickards color to it. Oh yeah, there's drunken one. Yeah, drunken one. Wow, the guava in this really comes out. 
Oh yeah. Very, uh, if you've never had guava, how does it come out? <laughs> because I can I can taste it. Don't smell like that, Christy. So, so now Christy, you know what guava is. <laughs> Christy's like, how do you know? You never had guava. Chris. What? I'm I'm just okay. What's guava taste like, honey? It tastes like guava. <laughs> yeah. Guava. Okay. <laughs> Oh, oh my god, god, that's so funny. Anyways, it's very fruity. Okay. Very Here, do you want? Do you want to, you that's like, gonna be the word for tonight. I can see that happening. Everyone's gonna be guava from now on. It smells like guava. It smells like guava. Though we never had a guava. Actually, that's wicked fruity though. It's very fruity though. Yeah. It's very, it's very sweet and fruity. Um, kind of good. What like it's something you'd recommend like at the beach or something like that? Like a or a, beach beer. Uh, it's a beach beer, but it's a little, it's for 7%. It's a little heavy for a beach beer. My beach beers, I like around 4%. Right. You know, lighter on the lighter, like the beers I was drinking today at the beach, they were right around 4%. Real light IPA pale ales. I was drinking um, a um, pink lemonade shandy. Yeah. This is a little heavier, but it's very fruity, not bitter at all. If people don't like the bitterness. Yeah, the bitter I find it's just it's I, I'm not the biggest on bitters, but it's the aftertaste. I find yeah. it just won't go away for the day. It's oh yeah, about a mouthwash with you like it's a chaser all the time. Otherwise, uh, oh yeah, if, if I if I drink a couple IPAs before bed and I wake up in the morning, it's like somebody died next to Trish. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not good. <laughs> no. <laughs> and if you eat food, it's, it's, it even overpowers the food that you're eating. I find sometimes like it's a, it, yeah, with anything else. But this is pretty good. It's it's very um, not strong at all to me. So this is a very easy sipper. So the name really works with it, you know, kind of the play on words, the whole hashtag thing. So it makes sense, and it had the guava and all that. It kind of all works together quite well. Yeah. Yeah, this is very, it's kind of sweet and fruity to me. Yeah, what does Evil Genius make? I like something by them. Yeah, Evil Genius. That's the, I'm stuff. the opposite of, um, I do like the dark beers. I like the porters, the stouts. The, do you? I like the um, coffee stouts. So I'm a, I'm a like coffee drinker. Like I'll have three cups of coffee before 8 a.m. Um, yeah. So I think that's what turned me on to those beers, and that's kind of what I started out drinking because they had like that um, that grindy, you know, like when a like a fresh grinded cup of coffee. Um, mm -hmm. The nice. coffee stouts taste like like a fresh grinded coffee almost. Um, so I think that's like the flavor that I started to like. And no matter what this beer tastes like, that is the best name ever. <laughs> It is. it is. It's perfect it is. marketing. It's unbelievable. You would even put up with a semi mediocre beer just because of the label on that one. That's uh, yeah, this beer could be taste like piss. Yeah, I, I would. I would still give it a three out of five. <laughs> yeah. And Gator. Gator put a really nice compliment up there, he so did. that that's very nice. Yeah. Thank you. Again, we're not professionals. So thank you so much to Pusa for introducing us. He, yeah. he didn't kind of community existed so that's great um very very cool yeah Jada diva you are alive <laughs> we miss you so much i know you've been oh, busy Jada diva's yeah. up in here i think he's oh. currently traveling cheers so Jada. been mia and he was saying about the bees that he got uh he's uh set up for bees this year and he never thought it was going to be that much work he was saying the last week or something i caught him in yep. the stream and I understand that too. It's one of those hobbies we all think we go into thinking, I mean, I'm not saying he's naive. We're all like that. We think we jump into something that's going to be a little bit of work until we get it and realize just how much of a dedication it is. So I'm so glad you're here. Yeah. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers, Jaded. Well, that's like when I start, great to see you, man. That's Thank like you. when I start cleaning my house. I sweep under one cabinet and then I'm like, wow, what did yeah. I get myself into? Christine needs a drink. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here talking like I clean the house all the time. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to insult you by talking like that. You're getting the stink guy over there. What? Yeah, that's it. That's it. The stink guy is right. Jada, <laughs> we're all growing up. We're actually drinking craft beer. Look what happened since you went away. Look at us. So what do you what do you think of that one, by the way, guys? I like this. You I do like it? it? 
So I uh, like a doll already. Yeah, uh, I think it's a bit too too bitter for me. No, it's too bitter for you. Wow. Yeah. I'm really happy with this right now. But I'm really more of a sweet tooth in general. So if it's something more honey tasting or very light, like you said, what you were drinking today at the beach, that would be something that I would more enjoy probably. But it's it's okay. It's not bad. It's just not to my taste quite there. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Tested for not liking it. <laughs> <laughs> Looking at those brews you guys got, you have a lot of nine and eight percenters. Those are pretty. Those are pretty strong. Mm -hmm. We used to have an expression that, you know, uh, the, the states had stronger cigarettes than us, and we had the stronger beer in general. And they tend to, the, the, the regular beer is all usually about 6% to 8%. That tends to be most of the beer here. There are a couple of quarters lights, that they go to, you know, 4.5 or whatever. But the micros, like I've seen them in the grocery store today, and some of them were at 13. So, oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I hear the beer out there that I like that's thirteen percent, but it's a dark, like almost like oil, uh, yeah. sludgy, really dark beer. Wow. I was in Ireland two years ago and I went to the Guinness factory and I, I seen the price of what it cost to go in for the tour, and I'm like, why am I gonna pay for that when I don't even like their beer? It was so dark. <laughs> yeah, I don't I don't I don't care for Guinness. Um yeah. But that place is huge, though. It's literally like two industrial boulevards on both sides. I've never seen a, build, a, a, a plant so gigantic. It's a street going in the middle of it. And it's Did literally they, like been adding on to it for the last couple hundred years without ever destroying anything. Did they, uh, the Guinness plant, is that where they actually blew, brew their uh, beers? Yep. Yeah. So they need room for their big old stills. Yes. Here, yeah, they so they need all that room for that, but it's like even the old stuff is there from like the couple, you know, what 150 200 years ago. They still have yeah. like all the old water towers are there, and you can yeah. see what they've been building them. Yeah, that's cool. That's neat. Yeah, some I, of the breweries we check out have uh, a lot of space because they have areas and rooms for barrels, so mm -hmm. they just have barrels lined up and they have brews just chilling in the barrels for their barrel aged. Uh, beers and one of our favorite breweries is Trillium Brewing out of Boston. Mm. And their, their main brewery, right in the heart of Boston, is uh, this tiny, tiny area. You walk in, and it can only fit about eight people, maybe long across their it's bar. It's probably like a 300 year old brick building that's, you know, like very compact yeah. kind of thing. And what, how they started was they brewed their beer down in the basement. And that's that's what they do now. They have a second location where they have a, you know, they expanded quite a bit. And right. they have another one being built. And they have but, a beer garden. Yeah, and they have a beer garden. But we go to their main one all the time. And it's just this, you walk in. They have a sign, uh, one of those triangle signs. Yep. It's, they just set it out on the, on the sidewalk that says we're open. And then the people just line up down the sidewalk, yeah. and it's just they they just keep, they just serve whatever they got. I like that they kept Great. that location though. Like they they kept like a little piece of their humble, like their you know like where they began kind of thing. Right. Um, yeah, so it's nice they kept that location because really they they don't have to. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. It's not holding them to it, but yeah, it, it, it is nice that they keep it. So. Yeah, but uh, that is awesome. You went to Ireland, though. That is on my bucket list. I was born on St. Yeah, Patrick's that's, that's Day. Yeah, that's very cool. Oh, wow. That's and amazing. My, my, my full name is Patricia. Um, yeah, mm -hmm. so that's super cool you went to Ireland. It's on my bucket list someday. Someday. And that's, once again, Quebec and Boston shares that because we have some of the biggest Irish populations outside of Ireland is these two cities. Yeah, yeah so I just turned 30 this St. Patrick's Day. And we went into Boston and uh, celebrated the dirty, dirty 30. Dirty 30. <laughs> I went to the Jameson uh, plant over there. And in in Dublin is the old one. They have a new one that's outside of the city. But it was a tour. And that was really cool. Like, cause I, oh, I bet. Oh, that is that's awesome. Cool. You actually went to the yeah. Jameson plant? In I had a hailstorm in May. It was the weirdest weather. I always seem to, whenever I travel, I get this like one freakish storm. I don't know what luck I bring with me. <laughs> I don't think people are going to let me leave the country anymore soon when they realize that I keep doing this. And when I was in Scotland, I went to the Glenfiddich uh, factory. 
the, the, the still awesome. yeah, check out this oh, oh wow i love that that's oh. so cool <laughs> yep where'd you get I, that oh, i had it made my my friend has one of those um I don't know if it's called a circuit or a cricket. I call it whatever. I think it's a cricket. But it's one of those machines where you can make like those uh, iron on things or whatever. But um, oh yeah, second, yeah. Mm. Yeah. So I had them made um, made for like everybody who came out. Everybody got their own beer koozie. A little side thing I just wanted to mention because I had the window open just to double check it. Most the uh, have you guys ever heard of Molson beer? Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Molson is one of the oldest breweries in North America. It's still mm -hmm. in existence, 1786. And the old one is there. It's actually a homeless shelter now, and then they're built further down the road. But did you know that Montreal was the home of Seagram's as well? No, oh, I didn't. I did not know that. Like Seagram's, the wine yep. coolers? Everything, Bacardi rum and all those things were all made here. And and uh, the famous one was Canadian Club Whiskey. Oh. And how they got rich was something that happened in the States, of course, which was prohibition. Wow. So that plant is still there, and they call it the Whiskey Trench. It's the part where you come off the Mercier Bridge over to the 20 Highway, and that's what it's always called, the Whiskey Trench. You can always smell it in the air. And that's where they wow. made all their money was during prohibition, brewing and selling to the States in the underground market. Oh, that is incredible. Yep. That, so at one time, it was the pinnacle. That's of very cool. And for five generations, it was the richest organization for alcohol in the world until one son took it over and had dreams of making it big in Hollywood. And he blew all their money trying to uh, fund movies. He lost everything and they had to sell it out. So now wow. it's not a Canadian company anymore after all those generations. Wow, that's awesome. It yeah. sounds like you're in an that's area with cool. a lot of history. That's why we... Uh... That's yeah. what draws us to Boston. We're like history people. Yeah, we love, we love the history of Boston. Um, that's cool. It's yeah. a city, Boston. I, I took Vinny into Massachusetts, but next time I wanted to, because I, I love Boston, I want to take her next time, like Definitely, right into Boston. Yeah. Well, if you guys ever come into Boston, then uh, contact us. We'll go have a drink. Well, that's that definitely awesome, that we'd man. love to. And the same for you guys. You guys ever want to come up to Montreal? You got a place? Drop by, bring the kids, and uh, absolutely, we're, like we're pretty right close. Over, yeah, yeah, we're. That's like where the Blue Jays come from. No, that's Toronto. Yeah, I know that's Toronto. Montreal's like the, a little the, little. Hour, the hours I'm talking about. It's, yeah, it's yeah. close. It's close enough. Yeah. yeah. It's about uh, a five-hour drive from Toronto. I actually yeah. love when the Red Sox play the Blue Jays because I will tell you what: these Blue Jay fans come in in buses. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty upon hardcore. buses. They're pretty hardcore. They are so hardcore that I love them. Yeah. Like, I love hardcore sports people um and i uh one game i made a bunch i mean they will hold up the flag they 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 are good fans i do love blue jay fans mm -hmm. you see the montreal canadians and i'm not a fan of them but these guys make the blue jay guys look like they don't care <laughs> they're insane literally i've they they fight, they do everything just like soccer like uh football fans in the uk in the uk that's what Montreal Canadian fans are like here. They're completely mentally insane. I think Saskatchewan <laughs> Rough Riders for the football is is the most insane. Oh, fans we live in Saskatchewan, the province of Saskatchewan. It's in the middle part over North Dakota. We live there. That's where our daughter was born. I drove truck in the oil fields, and these guys. Long story short, the CFL is a Canadian version of the NFL, and the Rough Riders in Saskatchewan were a horrible team. They hired a new marketing staff. And they watched them play and said, there's nothing we can do to make these guys look good. But then somebody had the idea, well, if they're so bad, let's make the fans look like they're the best fans ever. Mm. These guys are like insane. They actually buy up in the middle of nowhere. You can't get watermelons in the best of times. They have truckloads come in, so they cut holes in them and stick them on their heads. In <laughs> freaking cold weather, they all show up, like, what, 30,000 of them, with yeah. these green watermelons stuck on their heads to watch the game. When there's a game, you can't buy a watermelon. It's all bought out. <laughs> and they had a competition when we were there to figure out which was the most uh, rough rider town in all of Saskatchewan. This town painted their whole main street to be like the football field with the 50 yard line at Center Street. Oh, geez, that great. is hardcore. Yeah, they're nuts. They're as. <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah, I think they're the Trump. craziest ones we've ever seen. If any, Old any women getting in because it's an oil town, so everybody drives like a jacked-up Ford that's about six feet in the air. 
<laughs> five year old granny with green from head to toe. I, it, I've never seen people so dedicated to something in my entire life. Yeah, it's fun. I think it's fun though. Just and I think that's why I like you too because you just learn. Like I learn so I learn more than I would like in everyday life. Like I agree. All that all that all that kind of stuff and just different videos of like where people live and yeah, you you learn so much. You really yeah. do. It's a whole it's, new world. Yeah, it's amazing. It and really you know is. what you forget? You for, like today when we were on the beach, we had a we did a little live stream real quick, and uh, some of these people like live twenty two hours from the closest ocean, and some yep. people have never seen the ocean. So it makes you a little bit more humble to yes. realize like how big the world is. Like, oh my God, some people have never seen the ocean, and you know, here we are, twenty minutes away. Exactly. Uh, you know, so like stuff like that is why I personally like YouTube. I'm not really into the, I like beer, but you know, that's why I like YouTube. But you bring up a good point about that. And that's what's been so cool. Like look at us tonight. Just a couple of years, you could never dream of doing this. I mean, yes, you could do it on Skype, but to be able to broadcast and we have people oh, yeah. from different parts of the world. You guys are around Boston. We're here in Montreal. We're talking real time. People are chatting. It's, we live in an amazing point in the world right now we take it for granted because it changes so fast yeah yeah we come back from the days of like aol and Sir messenger i think that's how we started dating yeah <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah good because i want to bring you guys to that i want to catch you right there now i always ask the open-ended question and that's always to get to know people a little bit more than what they see on you on anybody's videos sure. Can you guys go back to a certain time where you guys feel comfortable and just kind of bring us up to speed to where you are today. Like, you know, it can start with how you met or a little bit about where you were before you met and then continue. Sure, I, I, I love the story how we met. First. So. We met on St. Patrick's Day. Trish was born on St. Patrick's Day. I was best friends with a gentleman that was also born on St. Patrick's Day. Mm. Yeah. So we were at a St. Patrick's Day party. It was my 18th birthday. 14 years ago? 13. 13 years ago. 13. And um, I was at the same party with him because he was turning whatever. <laughs> he, was, he was born on St. Patrick's Day. So it was it was a cold St. Patrick's Day. And it was, was a garage party. It was like a garage party. Yeah. It was the beer pong yeah. days where you're playing beer pong, you know, that kind of stuff. Underage drinking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was 21. Yeah, you were 21. Yeah, I was 21. And Trish was, she just turned 18 on that day. And there was like a space heater, one of those propane heaters in the garage and stuff. And everybody was playing beer pong. I, I had no idea who she you was. You asked the wrong question. He'll go on for hours. Well, I like this story. I love this story. We were waiting for this, so. I like this story. Anyway, so. Um, so I'm playing beer pong and obviously I'm killing it. I'm just like, I'm knocking it down, blah, 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 whatever. So I finally lose a game and there's like a stool next to the propane heater. So I go and sit on it and then she comes over and she's like, hey, that's my spot and that's my blanket. I'm trying to keep warm here. And I'm like, girl, I'm trying to keep warm. I'm, I'm going to be up next on the beer pong. And she goes, well, it's my birthday. Oh. And I go. He goes. I go. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm like, stop it. It's my friend's birthday. It's not your birthday. You're you're just lying. You're just trying to hit on me. Get out of here. <laughs> and she's like, she's like, no, it's my birthday. And I'm like, is it really? And she's like, yeah, it is. It's my birthday. And I'm like, all right, share this blanket with me. Oh. So she sits next to me. I put the blanket around her, and we're just sitting there. I'm keeping her warm. We we never met before, and uh, yeah, I kind of kept her warm that night. <laughs> no, nothing. <laughs> no, nothing. Nothing weird happened. We didn't like. We like stayed until two a.m. Watched the sunrise. Super yeah, romantic. we just we just kind of cuddled and kept warm. Gary learned learned warm. about each other. Watched is that what the kids time. are calling it these days? Get keeping warm. <laughs> yeah. That, no. That, that, that it really I, was. I, I promise we were good. Nowadays, we were good. now we were we were really good. <laughs> yeah. We didn't. We just 
We literally, yeah. I just, I just kept her kind of yeah, warm. Yeah, so you watched the sunrise. You gave me your number. I, I called you on a payphone because that's all that existed back yeah, then. Back we didn't then, have she cell call, phones. She called me on her payphone, and uh, our internet was the one you had to plug in, and my mom used to unplug it on me all yep. the time. Oh god, oh. Oh, the old fifty-six k. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys behave in the chats, by the yeah, way. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> You guys all behave in the chats. So that's not what happened. We were very yeah, well, swim hours kicking in. We call it. <laughs> um, and I, I, I mean, uh, probably a week later, I took her on a, on our first date, which included Taco Bell and a movie. Yeah, winning. <laughs> I didn't get anything to eat because I was afraid to eat in front of them. Oh. Yeah, I, I remember I got a soda and she wouldn't order anything, and then she drank all my soda, and that really annoyed me. <laughs> like, I'm like, why didn't you order your own soda, girl? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that one's smooth. That's <laughs> <laughs> good. Yeah. So you no. know, and then and then yeah. it just it just kind of blossomed from there, and then uh, fast forward thirteen years later. Thirteen have, years later, two beautiful boys. Eight uh, and four. Seven yeah. years of marriage. And uh, to be honest with you, couldn't be happier. So. Amazing! That's an amazing yeah. story. I yes, you yeah. guys can do a story about that. Just how you met. Yeah. That's a good video, right and there. And I love that you are talking about it because usually women are the one that is answering this question. But <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, no. I, I do. I do love our story. Yeah, I do. She was dreaming oh. about it while you were talking. Yeah, so I can no, feel the radiating. I think it's so sweet, you know, that you love talking about it. It's it's yeah. great. Yeah. 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 So St. Patrick's Day is my birthday, but yeah. it's also like special. So it's a day. Yeah. So it's, yeah, it's it's kind of special to us. Extra yeah. special her birthday. I call it a lucky in love. Oh, oh. yes. <laughs> you guys beautiful. are honestly just looking at this. You were meant to be, and I don't say that a whole pile, but I honestly believe that between yeah, the two of you. Yeah. You know what? I think in a mayor, obviously we bicker and argue. Like, yeah, like why didn't you take out the goddamn trash today? That kind yeah. of. Well, that's life. I think in a marriage, you have to be friends. Yeah. Like, like we can vent to each other. We're friends. We're not just like a partnership. Like, you know, uh, we kind of tag team everything. Like, I'll clear the dinner table. You give the kids a bath. Um, you know. Yeah, it's, it's definitely thing. a partnership for sure. Yeah. And I believe that about friends. Like, I was married before, and then Xenia, and that's what I got with Xenia that I never had before was a friend and that's what yeah. makes it so much more special that way. Yeah. I want somebody that I can hang out with. Like I don't want to go out and make a friend. Like I just want to hang out with, you know, the one friend I do have. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, you guys' lives is like a mirror of our so jeez. Yeah, I'm just not into like the girls' nights and stuff. Like my one friend, she's like, I can't wait to get away from my husband. And I'm kind of like, well then why are you married? Like, you know, I don't I don't know. Yeah, I just I yeah, I agree to that. I could yeah. honestly end up on a desert island with the kids and Xenia and I would, I mean, nobody wants to be stranded, but I wouldn't be missing a whole pile if that's yeah. what I'm putting it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I Maybe. think that's, um, I don't know, I think that's why people connect to us a little bit because we're just like, we just hang out. I don't know. Yeah. And you're I think just the beer talking, but you're uh, the tops, uh, babe. Uh, 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 <laughs> no, I mean, everybody argues, and that's not. I mean, I think, if uh, you don't argue, it's not normal. Yes, you have to argue, I otherwise think, uh, it's not okay. Yeah. So you know, everybody does that, but it's it's you know that's what we spend so much time together, really. Yeah, you yeah. know, since we started our own business, we're almost twenty four seven together because we work together. You know, we work from home together. We work at the events together. We spend <laughs> that time so after true. together. So we literally are twenty four seven together. And, and I thought yeah. that it's impossible. You know, we would be all the time arguing. Divorced. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right. You guys, you guys know what I. You know what I think. You guys should do together. What's up? crack another beer because that was has to be it almost <laughs> hers now i finished mine already i'm under hers because she finds it too bitter so. well no and i i did finish my oh, you class did. oh well there you go yeah i think you guys need to crack another one here friends oh uh, there's, uh, well it looks like uh, donnie's okay. wife keeps him locked up in the basement this one's five percent um, oh i didn't know there was a five percenter in there and you guys that SRM is four and the IBU is ten. 
Bolt wow. is extra nice today again. Uh, I remind him of Vladimir Putin, big smile, but an AK-47 behind the back. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, always welcome. I trying to figure out who he was talking about there, but I think it was <laughs> It's funny, bottle caps. You're divorced. I still can't figure out yeah, why. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I, could, I couldn't figure out why, but I start to understand that slowly. <laughs> some of the chat have heard. Some of the chat have heard it before, but have you? You guys heard how we met, right? No, I don't think I don't so. Think so. We we met on a video game called Second Life when she was in Latvia. Really? Yeah, it was complete what? fluke. We, you know, one of those three D games where you get dropped right in the start off point. Right. Yeah, listen and to their we there and we just uh, hated the game, but we stayed friends, and we emailed each other, which turned into Skype, which turned into longer and longer talks. I worked for a big music company, and I was gonna get out of there anyways. My marriage was all done, and we just got closer over the months. And finally, I said, you know what? I'm going to Europe for a couple of months, and if it doesn't work out, I never told her that, but I thought in my head, well, if it doesn't work out. <laughs> I got a couple of months in Europe. I got a place to stay, and I'll come back home and start my life over. That's not what I thought. But... <laughs> <laughs> I, <know. laughs> I hate to say that, but she's heard it now that I've said it. But I am kind of that realist type of person. Yeah, I mean, it was. It was 7,000 kilometers away. So yeah. it, it is a gal, and I flew over, and I was so tired. Uh, we had gone through a lot, and we were living in our own time zone because we were seven hours difference. Because right now, you and I, we're all oh, in the same wow. time zone. But she's she was seven hours ahead, so it was five thirty. It's five thirty in the morning right there now. Yeah. Oh so yeah. Basically, she would say good night. It's good morning to me and good night because I would fall asleep and then I would wait. She would come home and wake me up before I left for work because mm -hmm. she was home from her day, and we just stayed friends. And then finally, I flew in a plane and went over and kept saying, "This is ridiculous. I can't believe I'm doing this." And I flew to Germany, and then I flew to Latvia and I landed. And Latvia is an ex-Soviet country, so I mean, it has, is part of the European Union, but it still has a bit of a rough and tumble edge to it, especially for tourists. Yeah. Paris or London. And I get off the plane, and I'm walking through, and you know airports always have 500 different turns in them. Yeah. And the more turns came, the more I thought, what if this is really a setup? What if this really doesn't play out for me? What if she's not there? What if she doesn't, you know, I, I, all these thoughts. And I walk to the doors. And I hear somebody yell my name. And this person just runs up and jumps up and grabs me. And the next thing I know, we must have been kissing for a long time because I had a tap on my shoulder. And it was the uh, trash guy that asked us to move. We were blocking the entrance. And everybody started <laughs> clapping. Aww. That's cute. Yeah. That is awesome. Meg Ryan there. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's why we didn't go to the States very much. We lived in Saskatchewan. North Dakota was only 75 kilometers. We went one, t one weekend. And everything was great until we tried to come back in Canada. She was five months pregnant with Audrey. She came here on a visitor visa, but then we applied for permanent resident status. And they hauled us in. They, like, opened up our car, tore all the seats out. They had dogs sniffing it. They questioned her for almost three hours while they had to segregate it. Ended up, we did get back into Canada for some one simple reason was we told the truth, what, what had happened. She was here, technically, she was illegally here because she was here under a visitor visa. Yeah, you're not supposed to establish a, a residence while you're on a visitor's visa. We were one ah. question away, one question away from her being put on a plane in Minot and being sent back to Latvia that night. So and she was born and raised there. Yes, that's right. Yeah, gotcha. that, that's an awesome story, guys. That is that. Cheers, cheers to you guys. That's awesome. Oh, cheers to you guys too. Cheers. I'm so glad you guys are joining us tonight. I don't got much. I don't got much left, but so what? it's soon time for another uh, another hashtag beer. What am I uh, drinking? Right. Uh, so, what do you think of that beer at five percent? Well, I haven't tried it. Let's see what am I drinking. To, uh, okay. That lighter for you guys. Five percent. Yes. Five percent. Tell us all about it. Uh, white ale. Oh, I should like this one better. I mean, with ten. And uh, color is four. Oh, it's light, very light beer. Okay. Yeah. It's Belgian style white ale. So. Okay, so that's a uh, that should be light for you guys. Windy yeah. City said, "Damn, five months! Wow, that was some airport visit, Andrew." All capital. <laughs> <laughs> yes, people. So glad you're here to help us all. <laughs> Do you need a beer? 
The trash man said move and you went to the bathroom. I'm right back. It was an interesting story. And I mean, when you're over there, like no, like very few people were speaking English. It was a very hard Yeah, time. back then it was still a lot of transition uh, to EU. Now it's a little bit more. When I went back in 2013, it was a completely different country. Then it was completely open to tourists. It was so welcoming. The same so as we're Is all of her family over there? Well, her family passed away. Her dad was murdered when she was 16. <laughs> Uh, see, we can. We both of our parents are gone. Not like that, but we. Uh, we I lost mine at fourteen, and Brandon lost his at eighteen. So. Uh, oh, wow. I'm so sorry to hear that. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you too. But I think uh, you become a little bit more humble in life. You know what I mean? Yeah. So uh, you enjoy more time with your kids and the little things, uh, you know, kind of thing. So, but yeah. Her mom, actually, we were talking about last night because everybody was gone. All she had was her mom and her grandmother from her father's side. And when she was 29, we were to, uh, her mom was coming over for a second visit to Canada. Mm -hmm. She had breast cancer four years before. She had a test in December. It had been four years. Everything was great. February, we booked her tickets. And when she came in May, she could barely walk. And we got her a PET scan here and ended up, she had 18 tumors between her brain and her pelvis. And she passed away at 55. And her grandmother died three weeks before her mother. So she was an only child, and now there's no more parents, no more grandparents. Yeah, there's... The gravestones are 7,000 kilometers away. So, like, when we went back to Latvia the other year, the first day or two was just going to gravestones, you know? Yeah, that's a, a lot of that when I go back. <laughs> you know? Yeah, yeah that is, that's, that's really sad. But um... That's why we got married, because I didn't want to get married again. I love her very much, but I didn't want to go through the whole, I mean, Catholic, I would have had an annulment and all this stuff. But then I realized, like, she, I always joke that she tricked me because she asked me about Iceland because I always wanted to go to Iceland. That's where we got married. We had a oh, Viking yeah. wedding. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's that's so neat. We we got married in – that doesn't top us. I mean, you top us. We got married in St. Thomas, for goodness sakes. But uh, <laughs> that's neat. They got married in Iceland. Iceland. Yeah. Have you guys ever seen the Tattoos? very cultured. They're no, very... they're, they are, but they – they, no, they're very real, but very they, re cultured. they reflect off of us a little. Like I feel yeah. like they're adventuring. Yeah, yeah <laughs> so, exactly. you guys are like kindred spirits already. Yeah. Yeah, you have no idea how much we're thinking that right now. Like I didn't want like a church wedding and thirty thousand dollars. I just wanted a, a tropical island, sand, oh, and watching. you know, call it a day. I wasn't. So I was getting I, married, uh, not like putting on a yeah. show for. You so know, can I uh, can I ask the chat something? Sure. All right, chat. Should I drink something I'm used to, or should I drink a brand new beer I've never had before? Thumbs up for a brand new beer I've never had before. Bottle and caps is, uh, he's rowdy in their stream compared to ours, huh? Whatever <laughs> for not. I don't know. <laughs> no, if you guys want to see me drink something I've never had before, something new, thumbs up, something old, something I would normally review. Hello, Miss Space Cadet. Thank you for so much for coming by. Cheers to you. We got Rob with a thumbs up. We got Space Cadet. We got Jaded. We got Pusha. Uh, we got <laughs> all right. yelling in my ear. Sorry about that. I think everybody selects me. Everybody says, new. let's get it. Let's do this. Okay. Christine. Oh, they're, on the, they're on the screen, guys. There's our wedding in Iceland. All right, guys. So I'm going to. Oh, gonna, my God. Look at that. Make oh them big. Is that, hold on. It. Let's see them. Oh my goodness. <gasps> That's so is that real? Yeah. Yes. You guys look like Oh my god, I you guys love look like, that. You guys look like video game characters or yeah, something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. <laughs> wow. That is amazing. That is awesome, guys. We got married on Canada Day in 2014. And this is from the TV show Vikings, because I seen the wedding dress uh, Helga got married in. And I loved it. It's on the History Channel called Vikings. So we brought screenshots to a woman in Montreal. She recreated the dress. Wow, guys. That is incredible. That is. Like, I am truly. Yeah. That it looks, is Just like the chat awesome. says. That, that looks like it's off a movie. Yeah. That's amazing. That was a that's 700 year old. That's a 700 year old Vikings wedding. Uh, Viking site. It was an actual pagan wedding. 
That is crazy. Awesome, guys. Yeah, I love everything about and it. I'm, I'm gonna, not even going to go get I'm my gonna, picture off the wall yeah, right now. Yeah, yeah. oh, no, you it? better go get it. We're yes. waiting to see yeah, it. I'm, and I'm going to return this beer, my generic beer, because everyone wants me to try something I've never had before in my life. So I'm going to go get something. All right, I'm and I'm going to get our wedding picture just because I know you want to see it, but it's nothing compared to yeah, that. Yeah, I mean, there's just. Oh, no, don't say that. God. That's beautiful. No, that was awesome. All right. There we go. Big 16 by 20. Oh, oh, this is so sweet. Can you bring it closer? We want to see you guys more. Oh. Oh, guys, I that's fantastic. That. I love your dress. Yeah. yeah. We're just uh, we're the same people we are on YouTube. Oh, that is so that's cool. So cool. I'm glad you guys did that because we honestly believe in, yes, we do, like, we, photog we do photography for weddings and everything. I love weddings where you make it about you because big weddings are all about everybody else except you. Yeah. Everybody's saying, ah. We, um, we had this professional wedding, like we had a wedding planner and stuff, a, a professional photographer, but I did the, um, I guess you call it trash the dress. But like we went in the water with the wedding dress and they oh, took beautiful. Oh. Yeah, they took like, you know, underwater pictures and stuff like that. That's just like that's one of my favorites. So that's the one that's like in the living room. Why don't you guys do a video on that stuff and show your pictures that's and all amazing. that? That's amazing. Well, so here's the funny thing. We actually had a channel called Brandon and Trish. And we had a lot of supporters, but I just didn't want to do it. Like, I just didn't have the time. And she was like, I don't want to do it. So I was like, all right. So we ended up deleting it. And he went, you know, back to his, his beer thing. And uh, yeah. But I just honestly, like, some sometimes I'll be on here all the time. And then some weeks it's like I could be on my A for two weeks because I have so much going on. But, um, but we did try that, like, you know, just kind of vlogging our life. But at the same time, like you guys know, like that kind of stuff is time consuming. Like when I'm getting my kids ready and doing stuff, like it is boom, boom, boom. Yeah. I don't have time to sit there and like be video like this is how I do this and stuff. You know, God bless the people that, that Everybody's do Everybody's asking it. you about it, Dan. It's, what are they talking about? Not the Tootsie Roll, are they? Yeah, they are talking about they the Tootsie, tootsie Roll. roll? Oh, yeah. wow. Okay. I agree with you. It's like we're doing this stream every night, like six nights a week. And thank God for our middle son, Chris, that helps our daughter get ready. Like yeah. this, we never thought we could even pull this off, and we still don't feel like we can. And a lot of nights, just before we start, we love our guests, but we're actually feeling like burnt mm -hmm. out until the chat starts, and then it kind of livens us up. Yeah. But it, it is a it's a grind and i love it but it's a grind at the same time yeah exactly yeah. i think i said that to brandon a while ago about you guys i was like wow they are dedicated like they uh yeah. i give them mad the, props the people in the chat are getting a little rowdy they want trish to do the tootsie roll and they want me to chug <laughs> uh, so, does pusha know what not, the, do they I'm know what do, the uh, tootsie roll is i'm not well, sure i'm not no. sure that's what i know um so I'm gonna drink this. Oh, I got that because of Bumpy Rock. I've never had before. This is Flavor of the Day IPA 7% by Mo Mountain. Never had it before, sealed. No idea what it tastes like. That looks so cool. But since since we're on your guys' stream, I'm gonna just try. I love it. <laughs> I'm gonna try some shit I never had before. And uh Yep. If we stay down here for a couple more minutes, Trish might do the Tootsie Roll. Well, there we go. So I want to find out the Tootsie Roll. Now I'm curious. So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> you oh, wow. You guys, I'm not sure you guys want to know the Tootsie Roll. Hey, we're uh, this, this is Saturday night. We're having a date night. We're not complaining. We're actually yep. getting that beer and everything. So it's, <laughs> the Tootsie Roll is, uh, you know. We can't do it. They'll get us right. Well, yeah, I can sing it and you can do it. Can you hand me a napkin? Uh, Jada Diva's laughing. Uh, <laughs> oh, this is dark. Oh, yeah. I'm still drinking this one. I'm, I'm saving you. I'm saving the other blonde one for you. Don't worry. I'm saving it for you. So. 
So hey, here, while you're waiting for you your guys have another one, or are you guys do you get the same one? I'm going pretty hard, and Corey here. I'm trying. She's falling behind. I'm grabbing you. to my bottle. <laughs> What's happening? This one are you guys called, having a, Oh, that's a new one. Yeah, this one's called Trois Pistoles, and wow. that, that means three pistols in English. And the SRM is thirty two point two. Ooh. IBU is uh, fifteen point five. Belgian oh. style dark beer. Okay, so you get you're getting a little bit higher now. Yeah, yeah. It looks that way. Okay. Well, he might okay. experience a hangover. Did you guys? Did you guys? Yeah. I you will. <laughs> you guys had the other one already. I am drinking that one. I'm uh, saving the other one for her because she doesn't like the dark, the heavier one. Uh, so yeah. yeah. So I'm. I just want to take Advil before bed tonight. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, when you when you go to sleep, just just take some ibuprofen. I almost bought a bottle of Johnny Walker uh, Red. That's my favorite with Seven Up. That's my favorite cold drink. But well, oh, beers how, with beers. We how does it taste? <laughs> <laughs> take two. How does it taste? <laughs> me or you? You. you. <laughs> oh, me. Sorry, I thought you were talking to you. Um, so for mine. It tastes like, for 7%, it's it's kind of boozy, to be honest with you. It's, um, I, it's, a, it's a little dry. It's, uh, uh, it's okay. Yeah, your first taste, you didn't look overly impressed by it, but I was curious. Yeah, I'm definitely not overly impressed by it. Yeah, I'm definitely not overly impressed by it. It's I mean, a, part of trying different beers. I mean, they all can't be winners, so I guess that's part of the, the, the quest with it all the time is to, to see. Yeah, exactly. I mean, so, actually, I just had this brewery the other night, and I love their beer. It was um, a dark one, though. You but it was a dark one. And that does make a lot of difference, especially if your preferences is, is. And I like what you said a while ago about coffee and how that brought you more to darker beer. I found that really interesting what you were saying on that. I never yeah, thought of that. Yeah, there are some really like coffee. Gr I call it like my mom drink. Like you get your coffee and beer all in one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a double hitter. <laughs> but there are some really like they're called coffee stouts. There are some really good ones that basically like you're drinking an, an iced coffee almost. Um, there's wow. some good ones. Yeah, there's some good ones out there. Have you tried chocolate beer? We were talking about that in the chat. Oh, yeah, yeah I've, I've tried like one that it's actually called S'mores. Um, and it tasted like straight up like a, a s'mores, a marshmallow, a graham cracker, and chocolate all in one. Yeah, we've we've tried some really dark, dark porter slash stouts okay. that are dark chocolate flavored. We recently Beers. tried that graham cracker one. Yeah, I mean, I mean, they 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 taste awesome. I mean, it all depends. There's a lot of different. There's one at my beer store right now, and I guess it tastes like a mojito. Have you guys ever had a mojito? Yeah. 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 Like, I love mojitos. Like, if I go out to a restaurant, that's kind of like a mai tai or a mojito, but supposedly it tastes just like a mojito, but it's seven seventy five a can, so I haven't bought it yet. <laughs> yeah. Wow, that's yeah. Pretty pricey. Uh, it's like, like, it's like price. yeah, it's like nine percent. Supposedly it tastes just like. So I like to try beers like that. Like if somebody tells me it's gonna taste like something, like I want to see if it if it really does. So we'll see, but I haven't bought it yet. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. See, Xenia's more into the sweet side. I've never liked mm -hmm. sweet much with my alcohol. I, I don't know. It always gives me, like, uh, where she does. Like, as soon as she hears anything, oh, it tastes like s'mores, she's like, oh, I got to try it. And me, I'm more yeah. into the straight, like, bourbons and all that. Because I, I find when I mix it, it makes me feel more uh, queasy, if that's a good way to describe it. The sweetness. I've never liked sweet drinks. Like, even back, like, Sour Puss and all those ones were never my thing. Yeah. I like more. I get like he can only have one rum and coke because he feels like the soda is too sweet on his teas. Mm -hmm. kind of you know something? I got sick. My cousin and I broke into my uncle's when we were 13 and we got into his rum. 
<laughs> I drank it to the point, of course, we got sicker than dogs. And to this day, if I take a sip of Diet Coke, because Diet Coke to me tastes like rum and Coke, you know how it gives it that kind of weird chemically taste? I yep. can just feel my stomach come right to my throat the moment I taste it. Even though I'm 44, I can still picture back at 13 drinking that stuff and right away. <laughs> Brandon had an experience with Goldschlager. Oh, God. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, WJ uh, Auto Works said that uh, you got them sick on oh, the my God. CC. We, uh, WJ you Auto Works. said that. <laughs> he's, he's like a childhood friend. And I, uh, long story short, I've known him since forever, and I was kind of like his big brother. So he turned 18, and I was the one who got him to drink for the first time. And we got him, we always drink Canadian Club, my other friend. And we drank a 40 ounce or an hour, and we were filling up tall water glasses for him. He had never drank in his life. Oh my God. It was Canadian Club and Coke. And he literally, my friend had a driveway beside him that was paved. And we always say that he puked out the yellow line for it because he made a lot. Oh boy. <laughs> wow. And then we took him into Montreal to the, one of the oldest bars going in. It's full of Inuit drunks, the homeless, most of them. We took him there. Oh, boy. So we gave him a night at 18 he'll never forget. So I, 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 I say so. Yeah. Yes, I don't sir. think he drinks anymore because of me, almost. <laughs> <laughs> and we were joking before. I don't know if you guys were in the chat or not yet. We were joking about that, about... Because people don't realize just how close Montreal is to the U.S. border. We're literally like 45 minutes from the from Plattsburgh. Or, uh, no, Rouse's Point, I should say, the New York uh, first town after. And that's why it was such a big hotspot for American kids, because, of course, it's 21 there to drink. So they would all come up here every weekend. You could spot them a mile away in the bar going crazy, because they could come up here and drink at 18. <laughs> yeah. Right. The catch is we have a uh, Montreal at one point had as many strip clubs as Catholic churches in the downtown. It was something like 350 just in the core. It was almost like a sailor port. So all these kids would lose their minds and come up, and not only can they drink, but now they can get into all these places. And you'd see them thrown out all the time on the bars, like rolled under the stairs. And the you know, yeah. I've never been to a strip club. You know, I've never been to a strip club. Really? Well, you better come to Montreal. <laughs> well, you, it's almost all couples here. That's the weird yeah. part. Everybody gets freaked out when they come. I was first time to the same way, and it's like, no, we're not going to the strip club. But uh, we did. We have been. We have been a couple of times. Uh, and the, the, Andrew's right. They're mostly couples that are going there. Yeah. yeah we've, uh, we've, we've we never... tried one time, and they're like, "We're over our cow," and I'm yeah. like. The one time, the one time we tried to get in a strip club, they said they were over capacity. And I we was were, like, dude, we I never, I've never been in a strip club. And I was like, like dude, me. and I was like, dude, I've never been in a strip club. And they were like, we're over capacity, and we we're like, wow, we're never oh. gonna go to a strip club. You guys yeah. gotta come to Montreal and stay with us. <laughs> I would have a good time up in a strip club. I personally think. I personally <laughs> think Trish would really be mad at me and yell at me if I was at a strip club. <laughs> <laughs> you know the gross part is some of them have buffets and you'll watch all the guys like cutting what? off roast beef and watch it and yuck. Yeah. Oh my god. So you just buffet? Eat? Oh wow. Yeah, yeah. Oh, love that. Yeah. Remember I, I, just... I worked for a big music company? There's Pearl Drums, they're the biggest one of the biggest drums companies in the world, and the Japanese guys were over and over. I don't want to make stereotypes, don't really freak at me. But these guys all by nine in the nine in the morning were already hinting where are we going for lunch, which meant strip clubs. We go to one. I have my drum manager with me, and they have the girl dancing on stage, and then they have all the little girls like doing like lap dances. Wow. Yeah. And the guys are all like the Asian guys are so funny. The Japanese guys are all like clapping, giving standing ovations, and that I wanted to die. <laughs> they, they're like rating all the girls, and they're like, like, oh, that girl's just so beautiful, and they're talking about her. Fun, my drum like manager, chicken wings. Yes, exactly. My drum manager looks over. The girl that was dancing, she had no clothes on. She went white as a ghost. It was his niece, and nobody knew she was dancing. <laughs> and 
And she's standing there and she has like a bra, like she throws her bra over herself and like everything's kind of half hanging out, you know what I mean? You can't cover it. She's like, oh, Uncle Paul, please don't tell blah, 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 blah that I'm dancing and Auntie this and Uncle that. And he's like mortified and we're all sitting there. And I think the the guys that were with us actually thought it was kind of a turn on. I, I felt, never felt so in a place in my entire life. Like I wanted to crawl. Yeah, that has oh. to be mortifying for her. Oh, yeah. And uh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's uh, because we forget with a strip club. I mean, that's only somebody's daughter, sister, mother, you know, they're, they're right, <laughs> you know, and that was a sobering reminder of that. So, yeah, story, you know, it's funny now, but at the time, I just I felt so bad for both of them. You know, like when a dog and cat find each other and they're like, like the standoff, that's what it looked like between the two of them. <laughs> And the more you try to hide something, the more obvious it becomes. So yeah, that the second yeah. rule. <laughs> yeah, that's uh that's not where you want to get caught. Dude, no, 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 it's a hard story to cover up and pretend it never exactly happened. Exactly with your clothes off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So a little side story for you. So. Now they're putting the thumbs up for us drinking more. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> Oh, don't don't worry about us in the chat. Don't don't pay attention to the chat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait a minute, wait a minute. <laughs> Philip Cockram, sorry, I didn't tell you my ex was a dancer. Wow. Continue. <laughs> Elaborate. Yeah. So everybody wants you guys to drink a little more. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oh, I see it now. <laughs> yeah. Who cares about them, guys? This is like I say. This is probably the best date night ever. We've yeah, had I know. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just egging everybody on the chat. Exactly. And guys, yeah. once again, you guys came to our rescue when we needed us today. I can't thank you enough for that. I, I know it's short notice, and you handled it like champs. So thank you very much for coming on tonight. Well, yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you saw us. You saw us handle 200 Germans. <laughs> oh, you guys. Oh, like, that's yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So, you did amazing, you guys that night. You guys handled it with such class. I loved it. You know, it's crazy yeah. that Trish, there's Trish. people out there that just do that on their Saturday night. It's like I have so much it's better funny. things to do with my time. No, but that's what they do. So this this Ugh. stream. Um, so I did a little extra research on that German stream, and that's what they do. I found yeah. their lead. Yeah, we we found the leader yeah. of them, and they he has about two hundred and fifty people per live stream watching. Watching, it's pretty crazy. And what he does is he searches live streams that are currently going on, and we just happen to be in the in the YouTube Google live streams. So we popped up in their live stream, and he sent everybody over to us. And that's what they do. So I, 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 uh, but a few people actually have come back and they're like, yeah. we like you guys. Yeah. We got a few subscribers. Don't, don't delete us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we did. We had a few people. One person was one of his, uh, his main people actually. His name is Purple Haze. Yeah. And, uh, he, uh, he wrote to us and he said, hey guys, um, I came from the German invasion, but I really, I actually like you guys. So I just hope you don't block me. I'd like to participate on your stuff and blah, blah, blah. So we we're like, okay, cool. Go right ahead. Wait a minute. What was it? Purple Haze? Yeah, Purple Haze. We've had him here before. I think so. Yeah, we've had him here. I've seen his live streams before. He came into a, he came in because we had him blocked. He came yeah. in under a d different name. And yep. he was like, can you unblock this channel? Yada, yada, yada. Oh, so he might have came into your guys' because you were in there as moderators. Yeah, blocking. Yeah, it could be. Yeah, yeah. possibly. Because he's been in for a while now, him. And uh, like off and on, like periodically in that. Yeah. 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 I remember Trish laughing that night when I said, because there was one point you guys had 152 dislikes. I said there's 152 guys that didn't have anything better to do or not get laid tonight. So this is why they're here doing this. Like, you know? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, on that on that specific sorry. specific specific live <laughs> same thing. Don't feel bad. <laughs> yeah, 
We had a thou over a thousand views. That was crazy. Amazing though. In a hundred, I, I think we tapped out at one hundred and sixty-eight dislikes. But you guys held it so well. Like you didn't freak out and go on all nuts. You even. I don't know. I just love the way you did it that night. You guys really had class about the whole thing. Uh, I, I started I, I, to get mad at first because I she, was like, she freaked out. I I kind of enjoyed it. Know, because, I thought our viewers like weren't gonna like it. Like we have a lot of drama yeah. free. Yeah. And we, but then they were loving it. Yeah. Like and no, then, like wrench us. Let us. And then, and then our regulars were like wrench us. Let's go at these guys. Yeah. Let's do yeah, this. Yeah. And then it was fun. It was like a video game. It was. Oh, it was that's like, how it felt like. It was like asteroids. I, you forget, know? <laughs> I forget who was delete, the other delete. girl that was in the uh, wrenches there too, but that's what we were doing. It's like, okay, delete ban report, delete ban report. So she was <laughs> deleting. I was banning and reporting and we double duty on the same people. Yeah, it, was like, it literally felt like a video game, you know? Shoot, shoot. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and then it, it became fun to us, yeah. to me. I just didn't want to turn anybody off. Yeah, at first, Trish was like, oh, but we're, clearly we're gonna it piss turned, off. It turned everybody on. So I was like, okay, we're good. Like, let's yeah, just. Yeah, but that's not usual drama. We're like you guys, too. You know, you see my videos. I hate drama. I've said it. Yeah. Oh. But that wasn't drama. That was like an extraordinary. That's like getting a tornado versus a little bit of rain. You know? <laughs> yeah. 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 I mean, it, it, it was. It started off a little stressful, and then it got really fun, to be honest with you. Thanks, Bottle Caps, by the way. No, you handled it really well, because I think most of people would just shut it down. But you, you can continue. Down. And that's what I didn't want to do. I was like, why do we need to shut down our stream? Because... Yeah. Yeah. I don't, so like, I don't think we went to bed until 2 a.m. that night. You guys were busy. <laughs> oh yeah, no, it was crazy, and and people were coming in, like you know, once uh, you know, in, in Twitter, you a lot everybody know people wanted to help you guys because it was crazy, like yeah. <laughs> we we probably could have stayed on for a couple of more hours. We probably would have had like two thousand hits. <laughs> we had to do something the next day though, and we were yeah, we, we had to go so to bed. Tired. Yeah, we had to go to bed. I forget, but but that was fun. It was it was pretty fun. Um. Philip uh, Cockburn, uh, I have four dislikes so far. I don't know why. You have an amazing channel. Yeah, That's, we always get dislikes now on our streams. There. There's always some, so yeah. Like, I always like, get one dislike. Yeah, I always get one dislike as soon as I put up my video. So it's just one of those automatic. Not losing no sleep over it. The main know? thing that means that that person has rang the bell. So Yes, exactly. <laughs> right? That's what I say. Yep. Yep. If you believe in your own, if you believe in your work, it doesn't matter what anybody else does. A couple of them like that. But the other night, when that happened, that was uh, that was the exception to the rule. So. Yeah, and as you guys say, you are there to have fun, you know? So it's uh, that's what counts at the end. WJ Auto Works just messaged me. He lost uh, internet. And well, we lost WJ Auto. <laughs> Now, the question about uh, going back to beers again, you have tried so many different kinds. Uh, do you have like your top three and your bottom three? We did a video. Um, <laughs> we did our top five. Uh, well, that was our go-tos. I was watching that again today, by the way. And then oh, yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah. Um, you know what? I'm a mood person. I have to be in the mood for something for me personally. When I when I'm in Latvia, I turn into an instant alcoholic. You know, we said tonight we barely ever drink. But a Latvia I become a raging alcoholic. Because over the it never stops there. I have it in grocery stores and every whiskey is called Canada's best, Canada's finest, Canada's greatest. So I've never seen one of them here in my life. <laughs> but it costs five dollars for a twenty six ounce or so you know what? When in Rome. So I always buy ice cream and a twenty bouncer and come home and get sloshed and we're going to dry out for a couple of weeks and I'm okay again <laughs> and when you get drunk I'm sorry to interrupt you I gotta say this one thing and then I'll be off it when you get drunk in a country where almost nobody speaks your language you want to feel like you're on Mars it's a <laughs> right <laughs> you feel like you're so far away from anybody else that you would have nothing in common with them so we went to a bar 
because all the bars in Latvia, they literally close, like Eastern Europe, most of them all close at 6 in the morning. Yeah, because the first transport in the morning comes at 6 o'clock, so that's why. So you're still get, you can get there at 4 in the morning and still get sloshed before the bars close at 6 a.m. And there's this one bar. It's so cool. I love it. I forget the name of it, the one underground. It looks like a tunnel there. It was a World War II bomb shelter. Oh, yeah. I forget it's a World War it. II bomb shelter that's all done in brick and like a semicircle. And they turn it into a bar. And you go down like the length of maybe 90 feet. That and is awesome. Oh, my they God. They turn it into a bar. That is cool. It is. And it's so I cool. It's so super claustrophobic. Yeah. Now. yeah. I would it's big super and it's a, like a silo style, and it's all brick, like semi cool. Well, if you're going to go out, you might as well go out drunk, right? Yes, and there's this guy playing that night that Xenia told me was one of the biggest uh, during the Soviet time. He was one of these freedom singers. Yeah. The punk guy. And I realized at that moment that every musician's the same. So we met him. Now he's in his 60s. You know, it's like this, duh, 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 duh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. he's singing in Latvian and all this stuff. It sounds pretty yeah. brutal. And we meet him, and I'm, you know, what do you say to somebody when you don't even understand the language? I said, you know, I really love your music. And the that's the whole what idea of that bar, though, is pretty Yeah, that's, uh, that's a pretty cool concept. That's pretty cool. It's so crazy. And it is, you can feel the mood of being underground like that. And I said, you know, what do you say to a musician? I said, I love your music. He goes, great, then buy CD. And he holds it in front of me. I'm like, every musician's the same. <laughs> he got a sale. I bought his CD. What can I say? You love that when somebody, when you're like taught. You're talking like slowly, like, do you <laughs> hear me? Yes. And they're another language, but then they're like, yeah, I heard you. Like, what do you think? I don't speak English. <laughs> yeah. Looking at you like you got two heads, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but you're like, do you understand? <laughs> do you understand me? The word I English. Out. I English. <laughs> My uh, mother was telling God um, during Soviet times, you weren't allowed to have churches because obviously there was nothing else to believe into, just the communism regime, right? So they turned most of the churches into clubs. There was actually disco music and disco balls and all that inside the churches. Oh my God. I wow, know that's that crazy. Kind of, that's, that's neat. So, yeah, like, church. So and after just, that, like when we gained our independence back, obviously they were turned back into churches. But it's just weird, like she was saying, it was weird to go out, you know, on a date night or stuff because you were going for a dance, you know, in a church, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Xenia was six when the Soviet wall fell, and she can remember hiding in the back of her father's, her, excuse me, her grandfather's car as they left the city of Riga and the and the Russian tanks were all coming in for the last yeah, stand. Quite interesting. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. You that's don't, awesome. That's you awesome. don't understand the world until you meet somebody that has actually yes. literally run for their life or fought for their life or, yep. um, you know, I don't know. That's 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 good. I like you. It. Yeah, like you, you, met, you met her. You met her soul, her past, her yes, her core, and that's that's what you fell in love with, and that's what like that's, looking back on your life. That's, can that's you believe that you that's went what's real. through? Yeah, where you are now, can you believe that you went through all of that? I think it's still surreal sometimes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, does it seem like another lifetime ago? Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. Or, yeah. And here you are with this beautiful, this beautiful hunk of a husband. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and, the, and that's what I'm saying. And then, and that's what life does, though. You have yeah. this past. We all have our past. And then here, it, and then life just brings you. And then here you are. And here you guys are talking to us. And that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. Cool. You know, if it wasn't for a video game, we were 7,000 kilometers apart. Nobody can grasp right. the distance between that. Right. And, I mean, to be sitting here together today and have all these years, like, together, yeah, it's unbelievable how our world has become so much smaller because well, of that. Just of the difference of that one second where we, by chance, got yeah. dropped into the same area. Because there's space. 300 people standing in the same area. We just happen to say hi to each other at the same time. Yeah, and you get passive. dropped into different places there are lives. Yeah. So it just was a destiny so to say to be dropped in the same place you know yeah it's it's uh it's a uh, it's fate it's definitely fate yeah you guys got to come up to montreal this summer we're gonna work something out. you guys can stay here and you guys got to come up for a weekend and maybe we'll do the right. same we'll find a babysitter yes 
<laughs> oh man, I, I uh, yeah, we, it's we, a five-hour drive from Boston. Yeah, well, we're not far. We're, we're, we're really, we're really we're far. Far. babysitter we're for the far. evening, and then we can go out with night. WJ yes, Auto Works. Yes, there you go. <laughs> You'll babysit, no problem. <laughs> strip club that's it yeah there we go you heard it here folks <laughs> <laughs> we are going to our first strip club yeah uh yeah no i we've never been to a canon together we've been separate but we've yeah, never we, gone together we've actually never been we've she's been to canada i've yeah. been to canada we've never been to canada together yeah wouldn't that be so cool though for a weekend or something like that no, that would be really yeah, cool. yeah. We're, we on, we're we honestly travel a lot and uh I think now we just met Bumpy Rose Brewery, who was in the chat earlier, last yep. Friday, which we've never met anybody on the internet. It was totally out of our comfort zone, yep. um, something we've never done. But he's but, he's semi-local to us about an hour, and he's like, I'm a home brewer. You know, will you try my beer? My wife's going to come. I probably had the best night that I've had in a very long time with oh. a bunch of a bunch of strangers off YouTube that are now like I would consider friends. Yep. Yeah. But we thought it was going to be like an awkward exchange. Like, you know, here's your beer. We're going to have an appetizer. See you later. I'm never going to comment on your YouTube video again. <laughs> kind of thing. Well, yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was, yeah, it, was it was like you knew each other. Kind of. Yes. Weird, well, weird. You've broken the ice already. Yeah. You know? It does give you a little bit of an understanding. It's not the same as meeting face to face, but in some ways you get to know each other better because you chat more. Yeah. You get to yeah. know more yeah. about them as well. Yeah, but yes. we were like break dancing before the end of the night. Like we were just well, <laughs> you weren't. I wasn't. I mean <laughs> so cool. I mean I was doing the tizzy roll. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we still have to talk about that tootsie roll, by the way. Yeah. Everybody stop asking for the Tootsie Roll because you want to get Oh, you should see what they're talking about in the chat. Like, or not oh see. Oh, my better, God. Better not caps. look. Like, yeah, yeah. don't look at the chat. because they, oh, they, they said that earlier. Hashtag. Yeah. yeah. Bottle caps always. Oh, yes. What? And the worst part about bottle caps, he always misbehaves. But if he's not here, we miss him like crazy yeah, for know. some ungodly reason. Fixture, as he said. He's a fixture <laughs> of the place. Yeah. yeah. You know what though? Uh, bottle caps comes in our chat, and I've never, uh, I've never seen this side of him before. So it's, it's really wow. Yeah, he usually behaved in our he's chat. He's usually pretty. Uh, <laughs> he's pretty pretty, pretty tame. Chat. So yeah, uh, he's pretty tame in our chat. Well, bottle caps are busted. The secret's out. Yeah. Busted now, buddy. Bottle caps is. I think it really depends on his mood. Sometimes he's really nice and sweet, and very surprisingly sweet. And then sometimes he's really bad. Like <laughs> once I had to time him out for three hundred. Oh. Like I had to put him on a timeout because it just was going out it was of. Him and Irvin to pay twice. Yes, I put them out, both out out for. Uh, That's where he started seconds. calling Xenia stink eye all the time now because it's because I, I like me. it was way out of line, but. Uh, <laughs> That's how bad it gets sometimes, <laughs> but he's back. So <laughs> yeah, this is definitely a uh, different side of him. But you know, <laughs> you know what? If, you, if you hang out with another couple, you're a swinger. If you hang out with another woman, you're a lesbian. If you hang out with another man, you're gay. Like you can't win. That's it is what it is. Yeah, you know, you just can't win. Yeah, exactly, exactly. They're funny. They crack me up. You just take them with a grain of salt. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking, turn down for bottle caps. Turn down for bottle. I think we should. What time is it? Uh, Ten o'clock. I think we should turn down for another beer for uh, Pusha Studios. I love it. Yeah, they, they're, they're, they're not. They're not a, no, I know. I'm pushing them. I'm pushing them beyond their limits. I know what I'm pushing them. Like okay. drink it. Let's go. We'll drink it up. Let's do it. <laughs> I know I'm pushing him. Oh, That's fine. He's chugging. Yeah, I know I'm pushing him. That's I know what I'm doing. I'm pushing him. Oh my him. goodness. Almost. Almost. <laughs> Almost. That was pretty damn good. All right, so I, I don't think want to burp on the camera, so I'm trying to be good here tonight. So <laughs> Oh, that's close to a burp. Oh, gosh. I, I think you guys should uh finish that one and try another one. Yeah, let's try another one. There we go. Yeah, let's try another one, guys. Come Rob, on. Rob93 is still here. He's uh, he's on all of our streams. I love that guy. Yeah, Rob93 Rob is an Drunken one, epic uh, supporter. Drunken oh, right. one, awesome supporter. Why are you repeating me? 
because I'm just. <laughs> Guys, I have nothing else to say. All right, here's the next one. It's called Mudith. Uh, Christy K9 said, okay, go ahead and uh, burp. Yep. Oh, thank you. Uh, so we have an eight percenter. Okay, let's crack it. Flub and Epic said, Brandon weighs a buck fifty. Three beers might be much for him. My friend, you should watch one Who of our- Who said that? You should watch one of our live streams, my friend. Fluffin. Flubbing Three beers ever. might be much for him. Three? Wow, oh, Fluffin. Junior's, uh, Junior, is Junior's blog? Never seen, you've never seen you drink there, uh, Fluffin. Windy City, now Brandon needs a chug, I agree. Windy City says Brandon needs a chug. All right, I'll chug. Brandon DVDs gives $10 for you falling off the couch by the end of the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I missed that one. Do we get him 10 yeah. bucks, then I can push him off. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. I'm what? laughing about the I'm laughing about the name because as you can see here, Mudit. Can you click the most? Okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. This is really like a really. This is a really bad swear word. Looks like a, like a dragon or something. A devil coming for the people in the boat. But the name Mudit, that's like really saying like Jesus Christ in French, but like in a really foul way, like. Oh well, that's why there's a devil on the bottle. Yeah, I can say earlier. Because you say, like, Mudit Chris is, oh, sorry, I'm just like, uh, effing Jesus Christ, like, pretty much, I guess, to that extent. All French, all French curse words are based on things in the Catholic Church. Oh, well, yeah, yeah, it's two little guys. I'm not going to chug just that. I'm going to chug a real one. <laughs> he, but he did, he's not a chugger. I'm not a chugger. But he did chug the other night. But if I get enough people that say, hey, Brandon, Fucking chug. Yeah, but they you need to be careful though because this stays up in the <laughs> I'm just saying, I know this stays up on the stream, but we streaming. talked about this before we got on here. Their stream no, no, is awesome. everything's going good. Don't change the They're also 18 plus. Mm -hmm. Um so if I have enough enough people that says, Hey, Brandon, you bitch, chug a beer. <laughs> I will chug one. Thumbs up for a chug. Drunken one. All of Pusha's Studios try. beers are pretty much 8% so, and over. Yeah, Pusha's, Pusha's drinking some good ones. They have I'm, just, some I'm leaving the 5%. There's two 5%. I'm leaving them for Xenia. So. Wow, I'm having people big say boys. chug. <laughs> That's not good. I'm not, I'm not happy with the chat right now. Junior's blog. Hello. Did What's you up, change, Junior? Junior, did you change your name? Yeah, I was wondering, is Junior's one of you guys' uh, channels? Uh, Junior yeah. Brew Review, usually. Junior, his name is, Drunken One is also one of ours, Rob93. Yeah. Oh, you have Tesla, Rob. Christy Canine, Geeks. Well, you guys always have Geeks, yeah. but they do Maybe follow up. Uh, was the first strong beer that was made in Canada. Yeah. Oh. In 1992. Really? Yeah. Which one? The one that Andrew does now drinks is uh, the first strong beer that was made in Canada in, in 1992. Wow. And that's why it's called that swear word. Wow, Bottle Caps <laughs> just said, hey, Brandon, you're a bitch. Chug that beer. <laughs> yeah, there's um, Bottle cap shining through. That <laughs> makes me feel horrible. Hey, Brandon, you bitch. Chug hey, beer. Brandon, <laughs> you're a bitch. Chug the beer. Because you, wow. said, you said if everybody says, hey, Brandon, you're a bitch. Chug that beer. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. I did. I did call myself out, huh? You guys know that the uh, bottle caps was uh, what a uh, paramedic for thirty years. Yeah. Oh, true, really? even even drunken one says, "Hey, Brandon, you're a bitch." So Check I originally beer. thought bottle. Wow. Caps, I originally okay. thought bottle caps was a beer drinker because of his name, but he's really a soda bottle collector. Yeah. Correct? Yes. He's a he's a man of many talents. He's hard to peg. <laughs> Yeah, I have uh, created a profile of him of, of little bits and pieces here. Uh, so, so because so many people in the chance are are uh, calling me out in the chance in the yep. chance, everybody in the chance. Okay. Okay. Ah! Sorry, <laughs> trying to move the mic. Are, are calling me out. Um, I'm gonna have to go get a beer and I'm gonna have to chug it because I'm not a chugger, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna pour it down my chest, but I don't care. And here you go. Here's our theme for tonight. All right. We're going to hit copyright strikes. So we're only allowed six seconds. <laughs> so we are going to have a chugging now. Even Christy's like, have another beer, Brandon. Okay. 
All right, guys, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go grab a beer. I'm going to chug it like a fucking boss. <laughs> I love it. I don't mean to say the F word on you guys' live stream. I apologize for that. Tonight is an open night, yeah, guys. Yeah. Give her. Uh, Give her. I, don't apologize. I apologize for saying the F word. I'm but, gonna fucking chug it. There we go. Now you're not alone. So, But everybody in the chat is egging me on. And you know what, guys? I will chug it. And you know what? I'm not just going to chug All it. All right, go get the beer. But I'm going to just <laughs> I'll be right back. Can I drop your beer? I'll see what the, yep. this one is about. Go ahead. What did you say? You're nervous? No, I hurt myself. <laughs> <laughs> no way. I'm sure this is Edwin City. Am I doing better now? Nice. Oh, Arno. Uh, oh, sorry. I thought, I just, I thought uh, Arno. Oh, that's a dark one. Yeah. Yeah, it's actually brown beer. Oh, okay. you took it all. <laughs> well, I got caught. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Apparently, it's a brown beer. That's what the description was saying. And it's actually not clear. Uh, as you can see, it's not see-through. Hmm. Uh, yeah, it's the strongest, the first strongest beer, uh, strong beer that was made in Canada. And the mug she's drinking out of is the one we got from Hosier OD. By the way, yes, uh, was uh, very nicely and kindly sent to us from Hosier. One of our guests from like two weeks ago. Yeah, an etched glass. Uh, these logo. Um, yeah. Windy City. I have never shotgun a beer. I've never funneled a beer. I've never done a keg stand. Mm. Um, unfortunately, I'm zero fun, my friend. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> I used to go to a bar called The Brick in Montreal. And they had the fire hose. It was a hose that went two stories because they had a balcony around the top part. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry. I don't mean to sound sexist, but it was always girls. Girl, There's always certain girls that want to be like stand out from everybody. Oh, yeah, of course. And they would do the, the hose. And it would be the hose go two stories down into their mouth with a funnel. And they'd pour two quarts. The big beer, remember they used to make? Yeah, yeah. Pour two of them into it. And they'd be all covered into it. And yeah. uh, uh, laughing. See, then, my husband, uh, I met him, he was in college, and I was just graduating high school, so unfortunately, hmm. I didn't get to do any of that fun stuff while he did, so, um, you well, know. What's you guys' age gap? Uh, four years. I'm 30, he's 34. See, Xenia and I are 10 years. Oh, are you? Yep. I'm 44, she's 34. So for six days, we're 11 years apart, and then, because our birthdays are so close together. Huh? Yep. Yeah, yeah, we're four years. She's, just... my re she's my retirement plan, I call her. <laughs> <All right. laughs> yeah, now that's... we know what now we know your love story. That's right, that's right. It's not about love at all, it's about necessity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, no. The funny thing is, Brandon would never date somebody under 18 um in his life, and luckily I met him on my 18th birthday, so yeah, well. Well, that's like her. She thinks this is funny to do the math, and she's like, "When you were eighteen, I'm eight, and I'm like, will you give it up for the love of God?" <laughs> right? I would do that all the time if I were. Her. Yeah. <laughs> you were drinking, smoking, and doing all the other naughty stuff. Uh, <laughs> I, I was. <laughs> it was so <laughs> yeah, I mean, you I know, mean, I went to college. I was banned for a decade. Really? I did, like me and the other guys, we did $27,000 damage in one year to the place. Yeah, he was in black books uh, so far that his cousin um, or niece uh, went afterwards. And <laughs> I was still, I was <laughs> and still banned. And he was still banned 10 years later. So. I was going to study to be a cop on top of that. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus. My yeah. mom's 49, and she's a, she's banned from a bar, and I thought that was bad. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm still <laughs> See, see, in Quebec, you only go to grade 11. The rest okay. of Canada is grade uh, 12. And then you go to college, which is here they call Sejep. It's literally $50 a semester. So if you go to McGill University, which is an Ivy League, Ivy League school compared to most of the, like, Brown and uh, Princeton States, they were complaining about the tuition last year. It's literally $1,700 a semester, and they were complaining they're getting ripped off. Did everybody wow. forget about me chugging? That would be yeah. awesome. Oh, no, no, we're just no. We're time waiting to for you here. to be ready. <laughs> You're oh. up. The floor is yours. Oh, what? I, I'm not a chugger. Um, 
Okay, are you ready? No, I'm not. <laughs> but I'm not ready for this shit. I uh I will try to drink this as fast as I possibly can, which isn't a chug. Are you good? Oh, I'm not good, Trishy. I'm not good. <laughs> Trish just looked at me and she says, Are you good? Mm -hmm. No, I'm not. I'm really not. I'm gonna chug this. <laughs> um Oh my god, I'm just trying to hide those. <laughs> yeah, Chris for the drinking. people. Do a turtle chug, David. David. Jada Diva said Jesus. Do a turtle chug? No, girl. I can't open up my throat like that. Rob, I will chug it Rob fast. I'll chug. try right, to... Just don't embarrass yourself. That's <laughs> <it>. <laughs> we are so much alike. It is terrifying. <laughs> don't call me out like that. Everything <laughs> Trisha said to you tonight, Brandon, I used to get the same thing from her. That's what's freaking me out. <laughs> Wow, Brandon, you bitch, chug that beer. You Cheers. Drink like my Just do it. it. You drink like my sister. Wow. Oh my <laughs> god. You are, you are really destroying me right yeah, now. Just not gonna, like, spill it All right, I'm not gonna right? spill it. Just you give me a bib. Oh, hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I'm gonna, hold on. I'll be right back. Two seconds. <laughs> <laughs> the picture of the lobster on them there, red lobster bibs. I'll be right back, guys. And once again, Chris is left holding the helm. <laughs> Somebody's got to hold down the house. Hello. Hey, morning. Taste was here. Excellent. Yeah, hello. Welcome, guys. Uh, One of our past guests on an amazing channel. How is our stream going? I'm so glad Jada is here tonight. I miss you so much. I know you're busy. Great to have you. I'm going to tie up for you. Can't really see you, man. Today's hold on. I need to help hubby with a bib here. Hold on. I had a bib. I had a good bib coming. <laughs> All right. Let's do this. This okay. was a white elephant Christmas gift. I yeah. had this beer oh, like this a wild awesome. beer. All right. Let's do this. <laughs> there we go. Brandon's on a mission now. <laughs> <I'm not> ready. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> this is so good. <laughs> oh, oh, this god! Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Plus. Eighty plus, baby. Oh, oh, hilarious. Hilarious. oh. oh my. hilarious! That is so awesome. You for this, you got her, my friend. The floor is yours. All right, you're <laughs> all picked up and everything. I do have my shirt off right now. <laughs> um, got a lady. My shirt is off. You should just wear that to the beach. So, yeah, yeah, right, yeah. here we go. Not gonna be fast, that's the training Tatum, Bib. <laughs> yep. Christy thought you really had your shirt off. Okay, <laughs> here we go, guys. That's that's a yeah. there you go. <laughs> Look how big my abs are. Right. You've been working out, right, man. You've been pushing the gym. All oh. right, Jesus. Sorry about that. All right. Here, just do this. Just, just drink your beer. How about you just chug it already? All right, I'm gonna chug this. Are you guys ready? This you got the floor, friend. Give it. Rarity. All right, my one, my left boob is a little bit lower than my right boob for some reason. <laughs> I'm not quite sure. I think geeks is pretty much too much. Right on on this. Right. I did a little bit too much push up on my right boob. Yep. Left boob. But anyway, I'm gonna do a dance. Are you guys ready for this? Yeah. Do this. Let's make it happen. There you go. Work it. Of oh, course. The dancing, the <laughs> yeah, dancing. there you go. Work the six pack. <laughs> yeah, you guys like that? Whoa. Whoa. I'm popping my <laughs> can I see that? All right, here we go. In three, two, one. Oh. I'm scared. <laughs> <laughs> oh 
I think Trish went to the safe distance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Should I get any blowback if he like, up chucks? Go, 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 go. Hey, that was awful. You can chug a whole beer and you it's couldn't do it. It's too cold. I no, can't do oh it. Oh, my God. Don't even give me that All right. shit. Time out, everybody. Pretend you there didn't see no that. There is no time out in a beer chug. No, there is. Time out. And, and Mark is at Gogan. This never happened, guys. Now he's going to start to chug just right from the top of the glass. You let everybody Ready? down. Go. Don't tell me I let everybody down. Like... <laughs> <laughs> go, 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 go. I'm in a freaking apron right now that makes me look jacked. No, oh, Cammy, fill it up and try again. Fill it up and try again. Oh, <laughs> All right. <laughs> The pause the stream. Oh. Everybody, time out, pause the stream, and redo it. Ready? Go. Right. This is go. so funny. Go, 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 You did it! Loving it. I wasn't good. Was you did great, my friend. And you got fucking it's six packs. So. <laughs> How are you gonna keep I, that? I love that apron. <laughs> Keeping the apron on though. It looks a little cold in there. Your nips are out. So. <laughs> Let's go, Magic Mike. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Um. That so, was good. No, it wasn't good. That was horrible. Oh no. <laughs> That no, was cold. That was, it was, was cold. It was. It was. I'm not a chugger. Guys, this is going so much better than we could have ever prayed for tonight. Like, this is amazing. I'm going to pray tonight. <laughs> yeah. Jada. I knew when we put it out, like when I made the promo video and I wrote that we're going to be drinking tonight, that everyone would be tuning in because they want to see this one. <laughs> yeah, because we usually try to be very sophisticated. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> we never ever fuck up an yeah, anything. Yeah, so. yeah, well, I to do over here i'm like well i need i i cannot drink many beers i need to do my hair i need to put earrings in i need this is they're serious people <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> oh, oh, no. i got you guys lit i got brandon lit and i'm over <laughs> here with my earrings like oh i'm just i'm just gonna tell you guys at this point that my my live stream that i'm fucking lit <laughs> i love it and i'm gonna i'm gonna do the, like the tough drunk guy talk right now there you know you guys got to come to Montreal. Like, honestly, like, no fucking fool in there. We got to get you guys up here this summer for a weekend. That would be amazing. I would love to have you guys. You got a place to stay, so you just got to drive yourselves mm -hmm. up. You got a place to stay with us. Oh, my God. Guaranteed. Yes. Kids are going to be so happy. Ours, the ones that are at home are, are 11 and 7. Yeah. So oh. they're 8 and 4. Yeah. yeah, our eleven-year-old is such a mother goose. He takes uh, care of of the little ones. So he takes care of us. <laughs> he takes care of us, so we can trust him like fully with everything. That's so cute. So, yeah. um, so you have a place, definitely. Come up for the weekend and just and we'll wow. like I said, we'll get it. We gotta get you to a strip club. I don't promote strip clubs, but since yeah. you know we know one, we all gotta go to one. That would be. Oh cool. yeah, it's a must. Everybody in Montreal. Everybody's saying Trish needs to go next. I'll do a fireball. I think Trish should do a shot next. Do I think shot. Trish should do a shot. Oh, 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 there you go. I can't whistle, but I would if I could. <laughs> we got these for Christmas. Oh, oh that's cool. Oh. Woo. Oh, my God. She's working. Oh, yeah. You guys got you guys got to switch after. Yeah. <laughs> time we ever used them. Yeah, for a second time. I think everybody in the chat is saying Trish needs to go. So let's go, Trish. What are you gonna do? A fireball shot? But you see, Brandon, you guys were worried about coming on and look how great everything is going. I I'm not sure they're going great. I'm I'm a little bit. I'm a little bit good. <laughs> Since 9 a.m. I've been drinking since uh you heard it, my friend. Don't worry about it. So, I, I think you guys need it. I need okay, so here's the problem. What's that? Um oh no. Oh I was talking to Trish. Oh, anyway. oh yeah, that's okay. So what are you guys drinking? I'm going on to another mudit. You are? Another one? 
Yep. Oh damn. Just you, are, I don't, you are you are a champ, my friend. Just because I don't drink much is I'll be very honest with everybody for a minute because I think I should say this. Yeah, I don't should. drink as much anymore, but the reason why is because when my when my marriage ended, I started drinking a lot again. And then I gave it up. But I'm not waving no flags against drinking, and I love drinking once in a while. It's good to get out. Exactly. I just don't do it all the time. That's the only thing, because I love the life that we have together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we, uh, especially as we said, when you go to Latvia, I think it's a never-ending story there. <laughs> like, <laughs> for both. I will tell you guys after you do your shot, or actually uh, now I can tell you quickly. Did you guys see the picture of when we went to Amsterdam for the night? No. No, that was one time story for Hilo's and Heathen's podcast. You're not telling that one again. She doesn't like it when I tell it. Her mom had passed, and we literally we had 24. We went to the airport because really? she was getting a lot of flights. No. So we took off to Barcelona. We usually we don't stay in expensive hotels, but we stayed in this crazy ass place, the second most expensive place in Barcelona. It was off the water in the Mediterranean Sea. We lived like kings for three days. Yeah. yeah. Then we found out what the place actually costs when you don't take it for three days at a time, and we almost shit our pants, and we left. <laughs> no, so we went, we went to Amsterdam, and I've always said I don't smoke weed anymore, but if I'm ever in Amsterdam, I, you know, went in Rome. We fly yeah. to Amsterdam. Went in Rome. Yeah, we get this crazy hotel, and in the day, the elevators are those old, old 50 styles where you have to swing the door open on the elevator with the bubble window. Yeah, like 30 wow. minutes to find our room in the daytime. Yep. We have an open bar. I drink everything. Vodka. Oh my god. Whiskey. It's included in wine, the room service. Yeah. Beer. All of it. <laughs> oh, I never even drank the cream from the coffee at one point. God. Everything. Oh so, my god. You usually staying they in the place. Uh, what's that? Usually they charge you like that, it was all with it. It was four hundred bucks a night Canadian, everything included. It was oh, a port that they tur turned into a four a four star hotel. Nice. And we didn't realize that we're staying in the in the red light district, so the you lights only go see down it when the light goes down, and yeah. all the red lights come up. So we get this guy from uh, Ukraine, Poland, he, Poland. 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 He drives Poland a bicycle guy, yeah. rickshaw. We get on with him. <laughs> So Xenia's sitting with me in the back, and he looks at me like, I'm like, listen, take me to somewhere that's in the red light district, but not so touristy. And he's driving, and he goes, he turns around, and so literally got the arm going, he's like, oh, you want to go to a bridge where you can fuck some chicks? And Xenia's sitting right there, I'm like, you know what? Why not? Let's see where we end up. And he's like, oh, I'm going to take you to a bridge where I like to go to the chicks, and he's got the arm going, he's right into it. So we start driving around, and he's ripping us off like crazy. I know he's – we've circled it like three times, but it's amazing. <laughs> I'm loaded. We ended up at a bar called The Doors Bar, and I have uh, – I don't know if I can show it. I have Jim Morrison tattooed on my arm. Yeah, then everybody thinks it's me, so that's just yeah. why I <laughs> – So I'm like, well, okay, that's a sign. So we get in there, and we drink these drinks. They're made out of the coca leaf. They're brought up, He tells the, the woman tells us, by – AK-47 guarded barges from Colombia all the way to Amsterdam is 22 euros for two drinks, which comes up to about $35 Canadian or 25 US. So we drink those. They're lime green. And then finally I decide to look at their pot. They open it up. And I'm like, I don't smoke very often. And they're showing us all the names, you know, like Devil's Run, blah, 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 blah. Oh, my God. And, cool. and then we get to the end, and they have pre-rolled ones. And I'm like, oh, this is perfect because I don't smoke. I don't remember how to roll anymore. She's like, you don't smoke a lot? I'm like, no. And she goes, oh, don't touch these. These are for the regulars. No more <laughs> than she says that. There's a squeal of air brakes. A garbage truck stops. Hey. I'll take four. Yeah, exactly. I would have been wrecked on those. <laughs> she says that the wheel of air brakes here on the outside, the guys jump off a garbage truck, come in, pick up two of the pre-roll ones, light them up, and jump back on the garbage truck and take off. So I'm like, oh okay. So finally I find one that I like, and I said, okay, it's like $10 Canadian for a gram. So I said, can you roll it for me? And she's like, oh, well, it's my first night. I shouldn't do that. I said, listen, we got to get to plane in like seven hours. 
And it's an, a half hour, 45 minutes by train to the airport. Right? Yeah, yeah. So I said, listen, you roll it for me. It's about 0.3 a gram. The rest is yours. No problem. So she's happy. She rolls it. She keeps the rest. And I baptize it. I'm walking back to my table. I grab another uh, whiskey and 7-Up. And uh, I think she was drinking Bailey's. Yeah. And it's so weird. It's oh, I'm not right. And not only is anybody going to not be offended, nobody's going to give a shit because it's legal. Yeah. So I light it. We smoke about half. I put it out. And she gets all fucking panicky after. Like, she finds it hot. She finds this and that. So I'm like, let's go inside. <laughs> so, of course, big man going to light up the rest and smoke it all himself on the way out the door. So we get in the cab. And the guy says, drive. And he said, where are you going? I said, take me to the Grand Marina. He looked at me weird. And then he didn't bother anymore. But Xenia looks, I'm sorry to be sexist, but you know women always kind of cross your legs? She looked like the chicken lady. Her head was going back and forth. <laughs> and I'm like, what's wrong with you? And she goes, he doesn't know where he's going. <laughs> he's just faking it. She's freaking the shit out of me, eh? So I'm wow. like, what are you talking about? And she said, you're faking it. You don't feel anything. I'm like, oh, God, don't go into a relationship talk tonight. <laughs> And then it hits me. She thinks I'm faking that I'm high. And I'm like, if you only knew how much my heart is beating against my chest right now, I'm not faking this. <laughs> the guy said, where are you going? I said, take me to the Grand Marina. So he looked at me weird again. And then he asked me a third time. I said, Grand Marina hit me. And I'm like, oh, my fucking Christ. That was our hotel in Spain. Where the hell are we staying tonight? I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, I don't know what to tell him. And I look at him and say, like, oh, it's a gray building with stone. And he said, everything here is gray building with stone. I'm like, oh, shit. So we're driving around and around and around more and more. And then it finally I realized that I have the, uh, the uh, key card in my wallet. I take it out of my wallet. I throw it. I'm like, here, take me here. So he takes me to this place, and Xenia buys a falafel sandwich, the most disgusting thing on earth. So we get in our hotel. Remember I said about the doors opening on the elevator with the bubble windows? Yeah. And then it took us 30 minutes to find a room in the daytime? Now imagine what it looks like now when we try to find our place. We spend 45 minutes. We're crossing each other. It looks like an old Beatles video. We're up and down. <laughs> Cross Christmas. Finally, I go to the bell. I'm like, Listen, I want to go to my fucking room. I got like four hours before I catch a plane. Just get me to my room. So he says something in uh, in the uh, hall. Uh, what's Holland language? Uh, Dutch. Uh, Dutch. He takes us up and he's like babysitting us. He's like making sure we put the key in right. Open it up. Opens the door. He's staring at us. We close the door. So I lay back in my bed and I'm like, you know what? It's been years since I did this. I'm gonna enjoy it. <laughs> I lay back in my bed, but she has that famous falafel sandwich. She's sitting in front of the TV, and all you can see is her sitting in front of it. She looks like a robot. And she's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and all you can see is a glow beside her head coming out. And I'm like, it's like an old Pink Floyd video. Wow, and I'm like, yeah. this is too freaky to fall asleep for. <laughs> so I watch her eat this whole sandwich, which feels like three hours. And then we finally made it to the airport on time. We actually caught our flight out. And that was our night in Amsterdam. 7 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> well, at least wow. she was full before they took the flight. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh, that was the craziest <laughs> night. But no, the guy in the that. rickshaw, and I know it's not nice to swear, and he's seen Xenia and I there, but he was so into it. He was just killing me. He's like, well, you want to go fuck some chicks? He's got the arm going like that. <laughs> and I love that stuff. Like, you can't pay for that kind of entertainment. <laughs> Like most people, they say, oh, they're together. I won't say anything. Not this guy. No, he was just like, let me take you there. <laughs> it's crazy, though. All the red lights are going. The girls are outside. And one remember we walked by, and some other girls were tourists. They took pictures of them. She grabbed a Red Bull can, and she fired at the girl's head. She, like, went nuts at her. You're not supposed to take any pictures there whatsoever. Yeah. Oh, Really? Yeah, they they fired. The, I seen the girl. They fired the the, the oh, yeah. can on at her. She came like at like three inches from her head. Like she would have knocked her out if she hadn't made contact. Oh wow. also, yeah. and, and there it's legal, but we went to Christiana, which is in uh, Copenhagen, and they have it, but it's not technically legal. They had it legal, and they pulled it away. 
when you walk into Christiana, there's a sign that says you're leaving the, the Commonwealth of Denmark. Everything is covered by military carpet. You can't see anything in there. And they're like, if you take a picture, they'll go. Well, I have uh, my 600. Oh, sorry, Brandon's just talking here. Uh, don't worry, drunken one. I still got it in my hand, and uh, marijuana is legal in Massachusetts, FYI. F and Canada, Canada this summer. Canada yeah. will be completely legal the whole Not country. Legal, but we still get drug tested for work. Um, yeah, exactly. Yeah, we don't. It can become. We don't uh, participate in the 420 community because we earn a lot of too. And it just makes us go to sleep. Yeah, yeah exactly. And it makes us eat a uh, giant you. banana split you. and you. go to sleep. No. So anyways. No. We've dabbled in it here and there, like for stress, whatever. No. Uh, me, the I'll, one, I'll the pass one, out for four hours. The one but... time last summer I did it, let me tell you what. <laughs> you know what a Tupperware bowl looks like? Like the big ass Tupperware no. bowls? Like... No, we're talking like a mixing bowl. Like I'm a talking big like ass mixing bowl. A 120 ouncer. Okay. I took not... You know what a half gallon of ice cream looks like when Obviously, you get like Turkey you Hill? Three cartons. Yeah, ice cream. I took three of those. Oh my god! Yeah, I emptied them all out into the one mixing bowl with bananas, yeah. cherries, then chocolate. I took, then I took a, a six a sixer of bananas, about six bananas. I took all of them. And I chopped them up into a banana split. Then I took an entire thing of Hershey syrup, the whole thing. He's not shitting you. I, I uh I did a thing. You know what and I mean? he just sat there for an hour. No, and then I took slow the, uh, mo. No. Like the man what are those cherries called? The man cherries? Man cherries? Man cherries? Oh, I know what you're talking about uh, the expensive ones. Oh, so. Mark Shadian or something. Mark like that. Yeah. Whatever. I took a whole bottle of those. I emptied the syrup out of them in the sink first. And then I took the rest of the cherries. And I dumped them all over that shit too. Oh my god almighty. Yeah, and I ate it. I ate it whole. It was the most <laughs> of my life. I would I was just eating it like, oh wow. It was the best. <laughs> I was <laughs> like, we we can't take up this habit. We will literally be broke I was like, with most, food. I was like, this is the most glorious thing I've ever done. Oh. I was eating it like oh wow. I love it. Oh my god. But you know. Yeah. After that, that was that was enough of that. So it's amazing. You don't do it very often, but as soon as you do it, your hunger grows like a thousand times. You eat yeah. anything in any proportion without any limits. And to think of it besides being wasted, like on the weed, you'd never want to eat that in your lifetime. But all of a sudden it sounds yeah. so I asked my friend, I'm like, Did you give us the one that makes us go to sleep? Like, where's the one that makes you hyper? Like, yeah. oh, all I want to do is fucking sleep, dude. Rob, Rob is saying <laughs> shot, shot. Is that mean Rob is saying I'm like, I want to be pumped up, dude. Is Rob saying do a shot? Is Rob yeah. saying no? Is Rob, they want is Rob saying do a shot? Or oh, you you're ready? Um, you're not doing a shot, no. Why am I not because doing a shot? Because you're not doing a shot. Really, like, I'm all pumped up. Look at my big packs. Yeah, You've been working out, my friend. You've really been hitting the gym. Yeah, honey, look at my big titties. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're back to boobs and butts now. Yeah. Oh, um, you guys, you guys, you guys, was the this whole a, bottle, just D. Yeah, do was it. this a whole bottle? And let's I put, see. I can't, let's see what I don't it, like let's... doing it out of the bottle, but. Let's see what happens. I don't know if this was a whole shot in That's one it. glass. I think it's a, at least a shot. That's a, more than a shot. God, I get. I feel yeah, like more. Just pour it. See what happens. Yeah, but then I gotta redo it if I just take it out of the bottle. That's more than a shot, though. Do it in the shot. See what happens. It's at least two shots minimal. I'd say three, to be honest. All right. No. Oh shit. That's a. With the shots at the top. I can't believe that. Yeah, it's a shot to right to the top. That's a full shot right to the top. Rob nice night Rob nice three says, let's go, Trish. Yep. People are egging you on. Yeah, course. exactly. I feel like the devil right now. Yep. 
Uh, are those double D's, Trisha? Says Winchy. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> A whole shot says Rob. Drunken one says I'll be. All right. All right. And there she goes, folks. Oh. oh, wow. oh wow. Look at that. Oh, I don't lady. <laughs> wow. She don't even mess. She don't even, she don't even wait around, guys. That's like burning like a mofo. Well, you oh. didn't even change the face No, exactly. So that's amazing. Hats off to you. Yeah. The, the apron does you justice. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, wait, I'll be wearing this over the toilet bowl later. <laughs> you okay there? Free, That's so <laughs> neat. Are you going to be hanging over the toilet with my apron on or what? <laughs> oh my god, I'm waiting. That's such a good answer. Oh. A little side note about Iceland. Up until 1989. <laughs> It was a lot to drink. There were a lot to drink hard stuff, but no beer. Beer was a prohibition point, but not was, but not a hard alcohol. No, I shouldn't have shirts on. Yeah, I don't get that. Wow, I think they want to take off our shirts. <laughs> our shirts are off. Look, that's Come right. On. King and queen. Yeah, I'm wearing a bikini up in here. We should wear these to the beach. Right, we should wear these. Yeah. To the Just beach. walk around the beach with these. Yeah, we should. And then no, we should wear these to the beach with no underneath. So yeah, right. you guys look so chill at the beach today. I loved it. That reminded me of back when I was growing up. I love watching you guys there today. It was just so relaxed. The water and the, the I made me right. almost homesick in a way. Oh, uh, we are. So our one, our four year old was born um, legit like. Yeah, because of these aprons. No, they oh. they want us to just wear the apron. Oh yeah, nothing sorry. Else. Yeah. Um, <laughs> That's it. So our four year old was basically born at the ocean, like the hospital. You could see the ocean from the view, oh. and for, it's like this weird. It's this crazy thing. So um, he needed an ocean sound machine. Once we moved, we okay. So let me re go here. We had a beach house. We lived in a beach house on the ocean. Um, yeah. pretty much our backyard was the ocean, um, wow. all sand, no grass. And as just tells you your story, I want to show you how Tanner and Jack are. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, I wanted to go inland for grass, a house, school district, yeah. you know, living on the beach isn't as much as a dream as you think. Like you're, you go to bed with sand up your ass cracked or sand yeah, in your bed. There's just sand everywhere all the time. So yeah. anyways, our four year old was born there and um, yeah. he's a beach bum. And I think it's because yeah, he, he was like born by the ocean. Like when he went to bed at night, he could hear the ocean. Your ass is born by the ocean, these. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. And when we moved, okay. when we moved Inland, he uh, had to have a sound machine that had the ocean. Yeah, it was. Uh, but he just loves it. Like he could just sit there all day on the beach and. Yep. Remember yeah. when we went to the states and we had trouble getting back into Canada? Yeah. Uh, well, our daughter Audrey was born without any health care. Because they went through her whole pregnancy without any coverage. Oh. Canada has free coverage except when you're yeah. Married. So she spent oh, ten dollars. Uh, there I we see. go. Okay. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Panic D gets ten dollars. <laughs> you okay? I'm great. I just fell off my chair. That was a graceful landing, my friend. Was it? I just, I just no, fell off the chair no, a little bit. No, it was. <laughs> I love it. Oh, you guys are so I amazing. A little too hardcore into my, uh, my outfit, and I uh, fell over. That's why I never stood up since I started drinking. <laughs> he was just leaning back with them pecs. <laughs> <laughs> you see how I just said? Yeah, the, the pecs got a little too, a little too hard. And I, got, I just oh. made sure he didn't hit his head in it. Yeah. Oh, that's oh, so amazing. I'm okay. Oh, guys, not, just say it, but you got to so come to Montreal this summer for oh a weekend. Oh, my God. Okay. We have an open invitation. 
<laughs> Are you there? Yeah. Everybody, Come on, five hours. I you apologize. Guys already, right? You have a long weekend. Okay. <laughs> I so want to get. I so want to hang with Brandon. He's so. We're at we're at our computer, so I can't show you. But I have these giant candlesticks that I will show you that he just knocked okay. over, and he's lucky to he like stab him in the head. Yeah, I'm. I'm lucky I didn't get impaled by the candlesticks. <laughs> yeah. Bottle caps said nine one one. Bottle caps, you gotta come out of retirement. We need a paramedic. Yeah. <laughs> I have these giant candlesticks that like have these things on them. Yes. So he just probably like look at that thing. Yes. He could have got stabbed with it. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> so uh yeah. So sorry about that guys. I am okay. Well that's good. I'm okay. I'm all I'm all right. I am uh I'm I'm okay. Okay. <laughs> I am okay. It honestly um, wasn't drunk. He was just leaning back, showing was, his abs. I was leaning back. <laughs> you know, I tripped and I fell. I fell back, and that was it. He was trying to show me his fake junk. Yeah. <laughs> you trying to show me fake yeah, junk. Yeah, you were like shaking it, and then you oh, just yeah. went backwards. And then I just, I just collapsed. Uh, yeah. And Gator, I'm okay. Everybody, I'm okay. Look at. Look at these packs. I'm I'm good. Look, look at I'm gonna I'm gonna bounce my check packs around. Guys, if you didn't see me flinch, he's fine. I didn't flinch. Yes. I just kind of watched it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, okay, <my>. keep going. <laughs> Actually, I kept talking like nothing was going on, yeah. but it was obvious. I must tell you that women are so much more resilient in that stuff. It's like. <laughs> uh -huh. I was honestly like continuing the conversation while I'm looking at you, and I could tell like they. Trish was <laughs> watching me fall, and she's like, "Yeah, everybody, holy fuck, yeah, he's falling." Winston uh, was saying that you were falling with style, so. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't fall with style. I think so. <laughs> well, main thing, you're okay. That's uh, <laughs> that's the main thing. Yeah. God. I think I, I, think I fell with style. Yes, I will sure you did. Everybody's laughing. That's that's cool. I I hope you all have a great time. Yeah, Rob knows that, so he's with, probably dying right with now. With this apron right now, like these pecs. Like, come on now. <laughs> Drunk in one Trish tripped him, I seen it. Yeah. <laughs> now, now, no girl. <laughs> Trish stopped pulling the chair. <laughs> See? You're blamed for all of this. No, they are all blaming you now. Panic videos. It was graceful. It kind of was. I kind of was watching it in slow mo. Like he's showing me like his fake pecs on his apron, and then like went back and just kind of. Yeah. I, I saw it coming. I did. I did catch myself gracefully. I thought so. As I was falling back, I was like, oh, shit, I I'm think falling. in the beginning, and people like, were kind of oh. like, no, in the beginning of the stream, people I'm were kind of like, okay, what is this going to be? And now it's like, now they're like, okay, I see it is a hot yeah. mess. mess. Uh, welcome to the Hot Mess Express. I'll be Scott. It looks like a gay person with an apron on. Wow, it looks like Bowcaps wants to get a piece of me. Yeah. And uh, Obi says Brandon's turning me on. Wow. Yeah, he loves to I think you guys are getting a little bit too uh, horny up in here. <laughs> yeah, who is drinking there? You guys I are think, I think you guys are getting a little bit too freaky up in here. So let me take off the old apron. I'm going to make him wear it to the beach next time. He okay. couldn't handle the abs. Uh, All right, I don't, there we go. Bottle caps is a, you're a different kind of person in this stream, my friend. Oh, this is his normal. Kim. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's not like this in our stream. I'm su I'm surprised. He does come into our stream, right? Yeah. He's usually uh, uh, subdued in our stream. Yeah. Oh, no, you should see, especially when we show Susie's uh, green uh, uh, cakes there. There are these green balls that we usually share, and we got to share it. I gotta find it now. Andrew, 
We got to find uh, Susie's balls to share. Wow. Where, where did your husband go? Did he fall over too? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. He might have. <laughs> he might be at the toilet. <laughs> over the toilet bowl. I'm here. Can you do this? Susie's yeah. balls. Oh, I'm reading. I'm here reading. I, uh... Well, you want, me to get some, you want me to get some crackers and cheese? No, but you didn't fall over like me. No, I know. You see that here? See that you fall like that? I found yeah. another Canadian classic, all dressed chips. How does he know? We're like we're like intertwined. Do you wow. know on our live stream? Is that how you know? You come in the end of our live stream, don't you? Mm -hmm. I it's the end of every live stream eating a bag of potato chips by myself. Um, <laughs> I told you, it's no problem. <laughs> like, I legit am known for eating potato chips. Um, oh. Damn, that sounds good. I have cheese and crackers. I might need to sober my husband up here a little bit. <laughs> He's doing fine. He's doing fine. He just fell over. Oh, did he? Well, I used to see me going to the bathroom. It was about as bad as so don't feel bad. Where's the music? I'm just going to bring it. Oh, yeah, I got to find the music. Yeah. It's hard to find that one, though. I, I forget the book record all the time. Uh, burlesque? Thank you. Yes, Rob93. You know I love chips. Actually, I'm going to go see if we have some, but I think my kids ate them all at the beach. Yeah, uh, I, hid this, I hid this for my kids because I know what's going to happen tonight. So. I can't remember if I can find Oh, it's okay. <laughs> that was a little rough. Are you guys okay there? Me? I'm getting... Uh, Oh, I found another one. Not the same one, but that worked. Okay, so you got, do you guys know the Susie channel? I think I follow her. Who? She has a husband, by the way. We didn't know there. His name is Doodles by Doug. He's the one who did drawings for us. So we were showing this for months, not knowing that was her husband. But I see one of her videos one night, and it was just cracking me up. She does food reviews, and this one here is the one that took the cake. So I put, well, literally, I guess pun intended. So I put this music to it. Here comes the thumb action. Mm. Oh, wow. <laughs> Those are some firm titties. That's right. There you go. Wow. I mean, that's what made her famous. Yeah, <laughs> and she knows awesome. about it. We have uh, shown this video, I don't know, 100 times at least already. <laughs> she blushes every time we mention it. And that is now. Uh, that's some that's some CBP uh, practicals over there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she didn't know it that, until Andrew pointed it out when we watched the video. <laughs> it's a typical men's mind is always in the gutter. Like women, right? oh look how soft the cakes are. Not yeah. making connection to what they're doing at the time. <laughs> uh, Dickie's beer reviews. He might come from us. Well, he does come from us, but I don't know if he's uh he's been on your stream before. Perfect. Add moderator. There you go, sir. You got to. He gotta does. Um, he does beer reviews, but you know what he does? He does awesome guitar covers. Ooh, phenomenal, cool. phenomenal on the guitar. So he kind of does a beer review, and then he'll play a little guitar. Um, I, oh. I enjoy watching his stuff. He's a guy right up my alley. Then perfect. Please, uh, we can't add anybody right now while we're doing the stream. If you can add us, please, and then leave a little comment, and I'll check you right out after the show. So, um, I love Flub and Epic. He's pretty funny. He said, funny uh, the last couple of days, he's yeah. amazing. 
He said, no more guava, Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> guava beer. Hashtag adulting. Hashtag pierced nipples. <laughs> <laughs> What's your chips though? Oh. Sorry, I never thought to offer you. <laughs> no, you're not. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not the most gentleman all the time, but I try to be. Where are you? I don't know if you guys seen this is when I used to work for the music company. Oh my god, it looks like we're from Brooklyn. That's Paul Stanley from Kiss. Oh, um, damn. Dave Mustaine from Megadeth. My cousin on the right, that was his first concert he ever went to in his life. He grew up in a small town like me. So I brought him backstage ah. for Megadeth. So he, he was the guitarist for um, uh, Metallica, and then he quit. They, they got rid of him because they said he had a drug problem. So did you do marketing? Yep. I did marketing. Because what happened was is I went to school in um, – I, sorry, I went to school for cops. I quit, drove mm -hmm. truck, and then when we had our son, I went to forestry. I grew up all my life in the well, it's the Appalachians, the same well across the eastern United States as well in the Canada. And I took an allergy to spruce, so then they sent me back to school, and then I studied web design, and then I got hired at this music company. But I used to have my hair down to my waist. I was a drummer in a thrash metal band. I was one of those guys in a small town that couldn't wait to get out. And that's what we did. Yeah, that's pretty much why we live here. We, uh, we're five hours from our family, but my degree is in marketing. I just started a marketing job in Boston. Oh, really? Um, wow. Yeah. Cool. I, uh, I've been a stay-at-home mom for eight years, and uh, I finally uh, went back out to work, finally put my degree to use, pay off those student loans. Um, but that's my niche. Uh, that's what I went to school for, marketing. So that's my bachelor's. Um, Ooh. Hmm. Yeah. So when you kept saying that, I was kind of wondering if that's what you did, but well, I studied graphic design and multimedia integration, but then it fell into marketing. Yeah, which is pretty much in modern day. I think about mm -hmm. you know website design, social media. It kind of all ties into the same thing nowadays. Hundred percent right. You mm -hmm. nailed it right there. That's yeah. exactly what happens. They all blend together so much. It's a, like it's such a gray line, and you yeah. need all those skills to be able to do marketing now. Mm -hmm. I originally went for design, like interior design, um, that type of marketing, but I, I recently fell into like company marketing. Brandon's okay, guys. He's just currently taking a nap on the kitchen floor. Um, <laughs> he will come back to us. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's what I do for uh, you know my career outside of YouTube. Excellent. You yeah. like it? I do. I love marketing. I think I'm a people person. Yeah. Uh, I think it's kind of like my niche. I'm very um, detail oriented, mm -hmm. um, organized. Um, you know, so I think it's a uh, it's good for me. I I enjoy it. I feel like you need to find a job that you love, otherwise it's going to be the same daily grind. Um, That's very true. Yeah, and marketing every day is kind of something different because you never know, you know, what you're going to be doing. So it's uh, that's me. I don't like the same routine, um, you know, day in and day out kind of thing. I agree with you on that as well. Yeah. I always wish I worked work for a startup company. You know, you're going to spend two week, two years in Helsinki. You're going to spend two years in uh, Malaysia. You're going to spend two years in Japan. I would have loved that. A lot of people crave a house, like, you know, something stable. I was the opposite. I wanted to live my whole life kind of just jumping from country to country. I would have been. Yeah, crazy. you know what we call ourselves? We call ourselves gypsy souls. Mm -hmm. Kind of like my husband's career more so. Now that we have kids, we're pretty settled. But um, before we had kids, we jumped for his. He's in business. Um, mm -hmm. So we would jump for his career because you'd have to. You'd have to move to the next to work your way up the ladder, you have to move, you have to relocate, um, kind of thing. So, but yeah. I never, I never complained about it. Like I loved it. It's a great experience. You're getting paid to see the, you don't know, see the rest of the world. I think it's amazing that way. Sorry. I'm reading the chat. All I see is shot, 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 shot. Someone has to take care of the kid. She's way too sober. 
I know, went into this stream saying I have to stay sober. <laughs> you know the rapper Drake? Uh-huh. He was on a TV show called Degrassi. Mm-hmm. Well, that was a, I was a product advisor on that show for five years. These are the original ones, the original Degrassi and our teachers on the new one. Really? I knew Drake before when he was still in a wheelchair on that show. That show is made in Toronto. Wow, that's interesting. Like way before he started falling in love with Rihanna, huh? Yeah, exactly, exactly. Back, like I say, when nobody knew who he was, kids in the hall. and uh, That's awesome. That's a pretty cool uh, career, though. It was. I got to meet all, because like I said, I played music. I stopped. I gave it up. You know, as an adult, I, I could live with it. But it was nice to meet a lot of people that used to be on my walls. There's Michael Anthony from Van Halen. Oh, yeah. Uh, Daniel Adair from Nickelback and uh, Mike Van, uh, Daniel, uh, what's his name? Dave Martoni's a guitar player. See, I'm old school. I like, um, I like modern day rap and I love country music, but I'm, my parents, I'm pretty old school. Um, you know, Buddy okay. Holly kind of thing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I'm pretty old school. We sing. You know what our secret uh, love is? Uh, karaoke. We love karaoke. Yeah. Really cool. well, I'm going to just check on my husband real quick. Yeah, no problem. <laughs> How's the chat doing? Uh, well, uh, love been epic has to go uh, to sleep. <laughs> Another amazing show. Thank you so much. Mm. Crab Wars is so amazing. And Trish is going good. Well, as I said, women are more resilient into this stuff. I know. I'm still here. Yeah, yeah. I'm resilient. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, I didn't say anything. Who is still here? <laughs> ah! <laughs> that woke you up. Oh, yeah. Trish, Trish woke me up. She's like, uh, are you going to sign up the live stream? I was like, oh, we're still on live stream. <laughs> we got a list of go. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Oh, guys, you still got to we got to get together this summer. That would be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, that would be really cool. You guys are kindred spirits in that way. You know, I've seen your channel already. I've seen what you talk about. But after getting you, getting to know you guys better tonight, I feel like we're all kind of on the same page, and it's really cool. I, yeah, we. I, I think we are. We're. Uh... Mm hmm. Yeah, that would be really cool. Brandon has a. You are getting lit up tonight, honey. I'm like, I, the was, I, was, I took this one home. I am you did. the champ. You took it over for me. Yes, you are. You, you are. Do it. You're the champion. Trish, you are the champion. Like always. That's uh, CVP with the water. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget the aspirin before going to bed. Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, my God. You guys are so funny in the chat. How are you guys feeling over there? They're holding it pretty good together, pretty good. They're holding it better than you. Well, I don't know about that. Our our beer is double the the, the alcohol rating what he had. So I, I will give I them. About the beer we now, cracked right? our first beer at nine a.m. I know you guys have been troopers all day. And then we took like a three hour break before we signed on here, and that was it. <laughs> yeah. Stephanie, Bye. welcome home. Hey. You're Stephanie. right into our almost ending of Is our right? party with Pusha and uh, Crap Beer. Stephanie course. gets gets to give me shit tonight because usually I tease her because she sits in her closet and I tease her about yeah. drinking. Tonight we're drinking, Stephanie. Best friend yeah. with your friend. Welcome home. We're drinking today. Usually I tell her she has to go to an AA meeting and we're just trying to help her. And I found one in Rochester. <laughs> Life back on track, so no Germans tonight. No, <laughs> no Germans tonight. Just a bad summer. Stephanie's amazing. She's like everybody's literally best friend in threat. Yes. She goes to the name. Yeah, it's her. She's really amazing girl, right, Steph? Mm. We were talking with geeks. Uh, well, geeks were suggesting that we should do a live stream like with everybody. Like drinking, you know, like us, craft beer pours, and them girls, and oh then obviously you too as well, Steph. We'll just do that one big stream of like a party. And do you guys ever tune into geek streams? We do. I lo I love them. 
I was yeah. making up drinks the other week when they were drunk. I was making up all these drinks and it was called the Flaming Meat Pole and all these shit. And they were looking it up on the internet trying to find them, and eh? none of them existed. And I said, if you add, add Tabasco sauce, it's called the Flaming Vag, and they look for like a half hour on like YouTube. And yeah, all. they yeah. get uh, they get pretty lit up as well. And uh, I think Shauna used to be a bartender. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so uh, they get pretty lit up, but they're funny. They're down to earth. They're real. They're uh, they are. Yeah, they're sweet girls. I think I might have been doing Wines Day Wednesday, but you were on the stream watching them on their channel. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah, I kind of I typically go live on Wednesdays on my own channel because it's. When like, City says Brandon and Trish, when do you guys do live stream? Uh, it really depends. It's just totally random. It's very, <laughs> very random for us. Yeah, it is. But and, but we, oh, sorry. Go ahead. No, we yeah. did a, we did do. Um, it should have been promoted more. Hmm. But we, we did do a, um, a blind tasting the other night. Yeah. Live stream, which was a hit. Yeah. When so, I posted it though, it, it posted it, a few days backwards. Yeah, I know. I saw yeah, that. It was yeah. weird. Backwards. Like it posted, he edited it because obviously yeah. we were lit at the end of it, so he cut it down a lot. So it posted when we actually did it, so it it acted like we posted it four days ago. Oh. Yeah, was, Even though he just edited it, yeah. like cut it down a little bit. Um, yeah. Mm. I want it. Your life is like a real life scenario. Because he gets tired of it, he goes to bed, and then you're left like taking care of the guys that are dragging around at the end, like trying to get rid of them. <laughs> and you can see it in your eyes. Like, Pusha yeah. Studios was with me that night. Yeah, like right now, I'm trying to go to bed, and Trish is like, get fucked back here. <laughs> are you going to be rude and not join the end? No. <laughs> I'm just, I get, I get so tired, I was ready for bed. Honey, you fell over. You're fucking lit. I know. Right? I'm ready for bed. That's all right. He'll save me. He'll save me money on the fourteen dollar beers at the Red Sox game. Right. <laughs> He'll be too hungover to drink. I'll play more for me. Yeah. Oh, you guys are so amazing. Now, you're really, like a, you're like a fourteen dollars at Fenway Park. Fourteen dollars a beer. That's crazy. It is. It's crazy. It is crazy. Way too much. There's like sixteen, seventeen dollars Canadian. Yeah. Yeah, wow. Yeah, it's wicked expensive. And uh, so but by the time you pay for tickets, beer, a babysitter, you're looking at like a $400 day just to have a freaking date. It's Crazy. unbelievable, eh? Yeah. I took my father one time to the Montreal Canadiens game. I was like, oh, well, I'll pay for the beer. I used to get the tickets from my company. I'm like, don't worry about it. He's like, no, no, I'm getting you the beer. Until he realized what the price was, and then he gave the guy like a chastising. It's like, well, dad, it's not his fault. The poor guy in the audience. Yeah. Wow. Uh, best friend, we are from the Boston area. Yeah, see, Rob, normally it's Trish that's lit up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Tonight, it's me. You Usually in the stream, it's like Trish, you're gone. Trish got her head like this, and she's like, mm -hmm. "Yeah." <laughs> I'm still reading comments, guys. Please sign off. <laughs> Sometimes you get some real obnoxious people up in your stream, and you're just kind of like, "Do you acknowledge them? Do you ignore them? Yeah. Do you end the stream? Like, like yeah. what do you do? Like when they're being disrespectful to others, like." I know it's a struggle to deal with that one, especially you the now. And it's like I'm unfollowing you. I'm gonna troll you. I'm like, it's just like it's a <clears> hot <throat> mess. So it's it's like a fine line of you know That's how you handle it. Yeah, it is a hard call because you know usually they're not like that. It's like, well, if I get rid of them, if I time them out, they back tomorrow night, not. Yeah, it's. A it's hard sometimes. Okay. Listen, please. No. Okay. Well, guys, I, I think 
we've done everything we could tonight. This has been honestly one of the funnest. I think the funnest we've ever done. Oh yeah, this was really fun. We appreciate the date night so much with you guys. Like this was a ball. I I haven't I don't know if we've had this much fun. We're just sitting back and drinking. I don't oh, know yeah. the last time we drank. Oh, we do it so rare that it's nice to have it for for a break, I owe you, know? you guys any royalties that come from this once we're monetized you're getting them so. yeah this is so nice just to relax so sometimes it's nice to just go out of your yeah. comfort zone a little bit yeah it's right yeah. We're, we're very happy you guys had us on here yeah hmm. we um we are active in twitter so when you guys were kind of like we want you on we want you on i was like no i might do that I'm not gonna do that. That's that's just, this is like out of my comfort zone. So I went out of my comfort zone. You went out of yours. Wasn't yeah. it too bad, right? No, was it so bad? <laughs> you, know, you know what? I thought when I the very first time, and then I started really following your streams. Um, I thought it was more of like an interview. Yeah. And I don't, you know, like, what do you do for a living? How many kids do you have? What do you eat for dinner? What's your favorite, like, you know, sushi? Wow. Like, you know, I thought that's what it was at first, but I've been following you over the last month or so. Um, so I knew it wasn't now. So I was kind of like, oh, yeah, I, I like these guys. They're just totally like, yeah. you know, whatever. Um, They're just chill. Yeah. Conversation is. Is scary as itself, kind of. <clears throat> the way they should. Within five minutes, you should forget that anybody's in the chat. And it's just us talking, mm -hmm. like a yeah. talk, you know. Because I said to Brent, I'm like, did they send you like a uh, interview questionnaire? <laughs> like, oh no, my god! <laughs> I'm like, is there like a plan of what we're gonna She's talk like, about? Did, Can we say curse words? You, Can we say shit? She's like, like, did they send you an itinerary? And I'm like, I don't think so. No. <laughs> She's like, okay, I don't know about this. <laughs> No, no, it's not. We so don't go serious. that no, believe me. No, but it, yeah, it's it's yeah. fun. It's cool. It's and I'm really cool. happy to see like a lot of our followers in the chat. I really wasn't expecting them to follow us on over here tonight, yeah. but they did. Yeah, uh, you have amazing. Look who just followers. came in. Hey Joe. Jojo. Hi, Joey. Joey, how are you? He follow you. I don't know. Hey Joe. Hey, One of the greatest channels. This guy out of Toronto. Yeah. Amazing guy. Amazing editor. Uh, videos are so amazing quality. You gotta definitely check them out. You must just get a little bit of Joe. Tim's Brews, Rob93. Drunken One. Drunken One. Um, I have off. to say, Windy City Steve-O has uh, been pretty... Um, yeah, he's been pretty funny all night long. Yeah, oh, he is very funny. He actually has a gaming channel, and that's what he mostly does. But uh, his humor is really amazing. I, I always say, yeah. ask for a comedy channel on the side. So, and yeah. he said he's gonna be coming over to your live stream. So, yeah, he's been uh, pretty funny with his comments all night. And uh, drunken one is only here for Trish D. <laughs> now you guys know who Trish D is. Actually, one night I came in and um, you're like, "Hi, Trish D," and I'm like, "You know what? Nobody knows that I'm your yeah. damn wife." So I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna change my name, and then I decided not to change my name, but I am, I am Trish D. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of wondered. I, <laughs> I wasn't sure at all, and I'm like, yeah. yeah so that is me, and I, on my channel, I just do um. Like behind the scenes of uh, this one over here, which I wish I was videoing when he fell over. So, <laughs> That's so funny. I crawled in a wall and fell asleep on the kitchen floor. <laughs> <laughs> he did fall asleep on the kitchen floor, guys. You came over, and I just yeah. conversated while he took a cat nap. Yeah, I was just taking a cat nap. Oh my god, we have nine that we got to go through just in the. Uh... So we're going through our comments. Uh, thank Some you. from you guys, like yeah. you know, like from you guys as followers and that. Thank you so much for bringing over your uh, gang. <laughs> yes, definitely. <laughs> and uh, it was so great to have you on tonight. It was so relaxed. And I hope our gang went over to you guys as yep, well. You we know? hope so. That yeah, was a lot of fun for sure. You guys are honestly awesome people, and I love that you're so genuine. That's what draws me to your channel. You are, I believe. I mean, everything on face on uh, YouTube gets blown a little bit because it has to be. But I believe you guys are very close to what you would be in real life, is what we see. Yeah. 
Um, you are what you are. That's so great about it. That's so funny. Like when we met with Bumpy Rose Brewery, he's like, you guys are no different. Like, yeah. Like I pretty much just like, I he was know, like, like he, he was like, wow, you guys are just like you are on the internet. And we're like, yeah, we are. Yeah, just real, like we went to this fancy ass piano bar after we ate dinner. Okay. And, like this, it was fancy ass piano bar, and we, the four of us, because it was his wife, just walk up in there, and uh, you know, everybody's like in tuxedos and vests, and wow. I'm like in a denim jacket and Converse sneakers. Um, and I went right up to the piano guy and I was like, what did I ask him to play? Green Day, Time yeah. of Your Life. And he's yeah. like, I don't know if I know that. Can you sing it for me a little bit? So I just took the lead on singing it and yeah. uh, he played it and I tipped him and then I danced with some lady who had a cane that I had no idea that she was handicapped. That's and, awesome. uh, yeah, so we're, we're pretty much the same people right now as we are yeah. in real life. That's an amazing story. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, we uh, it was it was a it was a very fun night. Um, yeah, but yeah, but yeah. That's so cool, hmm. guys. Thank you so much for coming on tonight, especially at the last minute. You guys were like our heroes for coming on the way you agreed to, and that can't thank you enough for that. That was so cool. Yeah, while well, we went live at the beach, we weren't gonna. We're like, it's a family day. We don't get good service. Just. Drop YouTube for the day, but then I was like, "Come on, I want to share this." So yeah, we went live and yes, yeah, sir. We're uh, glad we uh, connected with you guys. I don't know why you guys were ever nervous. Of you guys are absolutely unbelievable people. It's uh, so with you. So thank you. Yeah. This one over here, he's gonna watch the stream in the morning and be like, "Why did you let me do?" This? <laughs> <laughs> I want to go to bed and sleep. So okay. Yeah, you just. So this is part of the Brandon 12 hours from here. Here we go. I'm going to put it on. <laughs> I feel the same way as you, so don't feel bad. <laughs> He's going to take Advil before bed. Yeah. Oh, yes. yeah. yeah. Big time. <laughs> the last time we drank beer was what? December? Probably. Yeah. We do it so rare. I don't even remember. Like nothing. Like, we don't like... even have like a glass of wine here nope. and there. No, uh, very, very rarely. Maybe if, if we go to Jody's, if, if there is some barbecue or something. But really, I, it, it's not even once a month. It's rarer than that. Oh, oh wow. God, I don't know how you survive life. They're, they're probably I'm not sure either. I'm not sure. <laughs> Look at coffee. I never, I'm never. i 44 years old, and it's only a year since I started drinking coffee. I never oh, drank it my whole really? life. Crazy. She got me into it. Because... Uh, the drive to my parents is 850 kilometers, so that's what, 600 miles, about roughly. And I would never stop except once for the bathroom. So she thought if she got me hooked on coffee, I would stop more, and she was right. Do you yeah. guys have Starbucks there? Yep. <laughs> What's your favorite coffee? I don't drink Starbucks, actually. We are more on McDonald's. We drank Tim Hortons, but that kind of faded away. Yeah. And uh, McDonald's now is my go-to. Wow. Yeah. Is Starbucks expensive there? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, regular coffee, I think, is four fifty or something like that, which is Canadian. So, which is it's about thirty percent more expensive than what you guys pay. Yeah. Oh, geez. So I pay yeah. four forty five for Starbucks. So you pay way more. Yeah. 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 Way more. Well, I uh, twenty three, I guess, to be rough, but yeah. I have one of those Keurig machines. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I nice. had them too till Andrew started drinking coffee, and then when he started, we started to chug them down like by by liter. Andrew has a very addictive personality. She should have known that before yeah. she had me hooked on coffee. <laughs> he did I like different <laughs> flavored ones, and he doesn't. So we just make the pot, and then we probably go through four or five a day at least, like the big pots of coffee, like in old machines. Yeah. Oh um, shit! Man. You guys are. I drink a lot of coffee. Coffee, yeah. me. Hence, right, we, we will let you sign off and uh, take your Advil and. Um, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much again, and we will guys, see you in your pleasure. next live stream. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Thank it's, you. It was awesome. It was awesome chatting with you guys tonight. Love having you guys. I'm definitely. I'm not joking. We're gonna try and get get together at some point between Boston and here. 
Why yeah, that would, that would be really cool. Yeah, for sure. it really would. We'll talk Bye. soon, guys. Take care. Bye. Have a great Bye. night, guys. Bye, guys. Cheers, guys. Cheers, all the best. Bye now. How amazing was that? Yeah, it was really that cool. That was the funnest. That was a date night that in the truest fun. sense of the word. We tried different beers, yep. different Quebec Canadian beers here. They're, and, such, uh, they're such amazing people. We talked about everything. Got to know some uh, interesting tidbits. For example, how uh, how did they met? And yep. uh, it was really fun. Mm -hmm. Just nice to just kind of relax and not think about people you can hook up for, for a weekend and right away it feels like you've known them a lifetime yeah exactly oh it's a yeah. very nice uh saturday evening yeah. just uh stress-free and mm -hmm. kind of kick it off and i hope you guys got the same feeling in yes. the chat as well for those of you who stuck around with us from the very beginning and for those who are just joining us now we had an amazing craft beer for his channel on and a great couple from boston um, trying out beers, talking life, and just having fun on Saturday night. It was so nice. Like it was such a such an e because they came. Like I say, they came in a rescue. We had somebody cancel. Not only did they come on, but they were just a great fit for Saturday night. Yes, so right on. So that was so yeah. amazing. What just happened? Hmm. What? I don't know. I don't know. Crab Beer says, can you hear us? And then Andrew said, Yep, the volume's so up and everything. No, 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 on the stream. Mm -hmm. Let me put that on. That was a good. Uh... Yeah, I don't know. Not Thank sure. You. Thank you so much, Craft Beer Pours. You guys were <laughs> absolutely. I know you guys were worried about coming on. You said that the last couple of weeks, but you guys were fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. It was such a pleasure. You guys opened up a little bit, talked about how you met and everything in that. Kind of relaxed. Perfect Saturday night talk. Yes, you did, Flub and Epic. I thought you're gone already. <laughs> Wind City and Flub and Epic and Bottle Caps. Yep. Uh drunk drunken on uh all stuck and Rob 93 all uh stuck with us through the very beginning. There you go, uh, hey Joe. Help yourself. <laughs> God, can't say to see. Yeah, well, if you yeah. come and watch the replay, leave the comment, please. Put a like on. All right, ball cap. Enjoy your Doctor Seuss book. Take care. <laughs> Perfect. A great ending to the night. Um, <laughs> tomorrow we are not going to be on our channel. Uh, tomorrow we are actually being guests on uh, Corn Life Network. Uh, they're having their date night with Brooke and Rick, and we are their special guests for the night. So if you miss us on your Sunday, uh, go and check out their live stream tomorrow at 7 p.m. Eastern. I'm just going to drop the link. Um, That's right, Angel. Chips and chips. Um, and we are going to be back with our regular programming on monday as usually from monday to saturday at 8 p.m eastern with awesome guests and monday we have two alapacas on um i'm pretty sure if i was able to see my calendar Tristy, it was our pleasure you guys were the star of the show tonight thank you so much for being on oh yeah some canadian guests next week uh some uh, foodie channels next week and some travel on monday uh so looking forward to that Ooh, very nice very nice lineup for next week so stick around with us at 8 p.m eastern from monday to saturday and tomorrow at the corner life network we're going to be special guests at 7 p.m the link up in the chat check that out ring the bell so you don't forget and you don't miss that uh check in and see how we're doing tomorrow <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> I'm sure you're going to be curious to know. Yeah. Uh, so go and check, ring that bell so you can ask them. Well, guys, how hey, are Joe, you feeling? Hey, Joe, it's all dressed. Canadian all the way. All dressed chips. Yeah, I don't like ketchup buns. I know. Not so not Canadian, right? Um, I just like sour cream. <laughs> so European. <laughs> <laughs> Love you all. Keep creating. Um. And, uh, Joe. Mm -hmm. You guys are fantastic. Loved it tonight. So great to hang out with you guys. You're awesome.
literally awesome. Mm. Yeah, and thank you for tweeting it out, uh, whoever guys did. Uh, thank you yep. so much. It's always much appreciated. And Trish D, now you know who you are. Yeah, I know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Is that doodle of my dog with uh, Yeah, Susie? I know. I know. It's crazy. Mm. Um, and yes, Advil ASAP. <laughs> Trish D is ending on a daycare tonight. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to bed, so I don't know. <laughs> I, I will be the one waking up at 5 30 tomorrow when our daughter wakes up for her regular weekend i'm off mommy which doesn't happen on the weekday so i'm gonna be up at 5 30 with my headache that's not saying tristy we never put it together that it was you no just i don't know i love it i think that's amazing when you pull that off like you really yeah. have a bombshell tonight that was that was really cool yeah that was a revelation mm -hmm. Same as Alexander thinks she's going right to bed. She's dreaming in technicolor, but... Well, I'm the one waking up at 5.30 tomorrow. You're going to be still snoring off. Snoring off, no one. Yes. No car. So, and then uh, we'll still have to go in the corn life. It would be unfair <laughs> if we go in a, with a headache on. It's tomorrow night. Well. 7 o'clock. Depends when you wake up, right? Yeah, because I sleep in so often. No, you don't. I know. I uh, know. We also don't drink too often. Yeah, I know. So. <laughs> Night, uh, guys. Thank you. Heat creating. Love yous all. Thank you so much for an amazing guest tonight, an amazing chat. You guys are absolutely awesome in every sense of the word. Love yous lots, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Take care, guys. Keep creating. Keep creating.